fast all those nights If I could make the earth and my dreams the same Ride with the mob, hum do Allah, check in with me, and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Bola did the chain, Tono for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. <laughs> Yamagini yeah, chain, rest in peace to my superior. Hermes, Linga, feed a village in Liberia. TMZ taking pictures, causing my hysteria. Mama see me all BT and start tearing up. I'ma start killing niggas, how'd you get that tripe? I attended Harlem picnics where you risk your life. Uncle used to skim work, selling nicks at night. I was only eight years old, watching Nick at night. Uncle Psycho was in that bathroom bucket. Knife to his gut, hope that he don't cut him. Suicidal thoughts brought to me. Tree. Higher. <coughs> Walsh has donated 40 United States dinero to play this song from this timestamp even. So we're going to play it. And if it's bad, we blame Walsh. If it's good, we celebrate Walsh. Here we go. $40 from this timestamp, mind you. It starts 20 seconds in. He picked it. Here we go. Louds in Queens while we was in the car on our way to the shop. But yo, right now, kick the bass for them brothers and let them know what, what goes, goes on. Rolling stones in the rafter, not bragging. Look bigger than Jagger, not sagging. Sprawl it backwards, I'ma leave it at that. That ain't got nothing to do with rap. Check the facts, expose those cats. Who poses heroes, take advantage of blacks. The government's gangsters will cut the crap. A war going on, so where y'all at? Oh, 
Holocaust, great responsibility. F the police, who's stopping you from killing me? This ass is fiasco's a loop by PE. If it's I instead that we believe in TV. Spread the rich and bitches, this new thing about snitches. Watch the masses move as the masses switches. System distant, but barely missed. I swear to God. Just gonna save my brothers and sisters. I swear to God. Thus, I, I am, I am, I am a little shit stir because I swear on my life I did no cooking yesterday, I did no preparation. My family showed up, I sat at the table waiting to be served, and as my father's girlfriend entered in, before we, we, we there was chicken, turkey was already on the table. Before the chicken even landed on the table, I went so Israel. Palestine and I got deep sighs and I got like just like really and then here's the worst part my brother goes well if we want to talk about it we could we could just open it up I shit you not you know how every Thanksgiving we do what are you thankful for what are you thankful for the entire Thanksgiving dinner was Israel Palestine the entire dinner was a uh, Israel Palestine discussion. It was that easy. It, I did record a little video of it, but then I kind of, I don't know. I don't know if they, I don't know if the, any of them won their opinions on camera broadcast everyone, but I did. You're that guy. What can I say? You're the asshole. Hey, hey, hey. So where do you stand then? Oh, it's easy. It's simple. You know, you know, I, we'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll talk about all of that content brain you know what it is yeah but you know i like i like i like argument i don't like fighting so where did you i like stand? argument you got here can I, okay i'll i'll get into that i will actually get into that in a second here but first happy skater friday who won i won because i was entertained happy black friday hope you guys had a good thanksgiving I had, it's, you know what's weird? Normally I feel like there's a whole long ass day between one stream and the next stream. I feel, I blinked. Thanksgiving was exhausting. Woke up, clean, like top to bottom. I'm like, I cannot have my family know this house is disgusting. Cleaned, hours of cleaning. Mom calls me, mom's early. Of course mom's early. Why wouldn't she be fucking early? Not at dad's? Hell no, too warm. Maids in shambles. You'd be surprised how quickly you can make a house dirty even with maids. Resolute, thank you for the five. Appreciate it. Cleaning, isn't that why you have maids? What's wrong with you? You guys, okay, listen, guys. Isn't your, it's not even 90, that's what I'm saying. Guys, the maids wanted to enjoy Thanksgiving as well. I'm not gonna be like, hey, hola, don't ask star. Hello? You know, uh, they let them, Jesus Christ, bro. Um, no, I blow. <laughs> so have them come over on Wednesday. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Have them come over on Wednesday for Thanksgiving on Thursday. They did, they did. And there was still so much to do. Let me explain, I'm actually gonna explain this to you guys, okay? So the maids, maids are awesome and they help with the day to day. Right, the maids. The, ma if you ever have maids, unless you have like the help, right? Unless you got like a live-in bitch who know who's doing things, right? Rich problems. I'm not complaining. I want to slap the shit out of you. Thanksgiving's over. I don't have to be thankful anymore. Okay, I'm explaining, not complaining. So let me explain. All right, maids. My maids that come first off. Anyone saying complaining? All right, I want to be clear. My maids uh, gave me a bill the first time and I thought it was too low and there has never been a single time I have not tipped them almost double what they charge because I feel, because you it was a lady starting her small business. I was her first customer, right? I took a risk on this lady because we needed someone in here stat and she undercharged. So since then I've never, and it's so cool to see, she used to come in by herself. It's been like six, seven months now. She has four other bitches coming in now. It is, I'm so happy for her. Anyway, the point is, is they're not gonna, they're gonna do the cleaning, but they're not going to do the junk removal. And what do I mean by that is, when you really take a step back and criticize your house, you'll be like, 
that's a pile of boxes and I don't even know what it is. And there's another pile of boxes and I don't even know what that is. And there's another pile like, and next thing you know, you're de decluttering. It is mind blowing how much shit can just be lying around. The maids don't do that. They don't take care of that. That's not their job. They come in, they wipe, they clean, they scrub, they dip. They're not going to be like, sir, this trash? Is this trash? No, they don't do that shit. Is your house like a landfill? It gets that way. It gets that way. It can. And I'm not going to lie. A lot of it is the P.O. Box streams. If I don't stay on top of the P.O. Box stream, if I don't clear After out... taking on your house it, and horrors that she's seen, she can now take any house. That's true. That's true. So anyway, the point is... I had to do a lot of that, and it, it 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 was that, and then the family came over, and it was a lot of fun. What are your rich people problems? Man, this I don't know. Um, I couldn't poop after dinner. No amount of money could solve that. Um, I don't know. I fixed it today though. That was pretty good. I get hey, hemorrhoids a lot. Glad to see you got the arm back. Thoughts on Thorn Oakenshield? Wubby woo. Hmm. Anyway, let's talk. Hi, chat. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Did everyone Did everyone have a good time on Thanksgiving? Did everyone uh, spend time with somebody? I did. I spent time with my family, and I All got right, stories stop. about it. I'm glad to be back. I didn't know if I was going to be live today, but I said, fuck it, we'll do. I think quick stream is better than no stream, so I decided to go live. I wasn't sure. I was going to do a, a turkey. time. <laughs> my one of my grandmas couldn't make it to Thanksgiving dinner because she fucking died. She didn't die, but see, that's the I want you guys to feel bad for me, frankly. No, she got sick. She got sick and she died. I'm kidding. She's not dead. Well, I don't know yet. I haven't checked on her. Wubby's, Wubby's on edge today. I'm actually great today. Thank you. Thank you for the five though. Appreciate Hope it. Wubby. Sick of you, I'm in Wubby. Paris and having a good time. Only problem You're... was that we almost got robbed immediately on the metro, but it's been good after that. Yeah. See, that's that's Paris Cope. There's nothing redeemable about Paris. Let's talk about everything. You want me to do this for the next two hours? You want a long stream tonight? We can just talk about Paris. Everything is bad in Paris. The food was mid. Okay. The beauty was mid. The people were below mid. Smelly, disgusting, awful, mean. Some of the rudest people in the world I've ever met. Okay. No air conditioning. No nothing. The fact that you got robbed your first 10 minutes of being there and you said it's going okay means that you are coping. Who's in Paris though? Bad people. W take Paris sucks. Paris is terrible. I would not recommend it ever, ever. The Disney, the worst Disney I've ever been to. Bro, I say this all the time. I'm a Disney simp, right? Disneyland has Disney magic. The employees there work really hard to make you feel special. Disneyland Paris, they did not give two fucks. It was like, I'm sorry, it was like straight up like minimum wage, wage slave energy, which I'm totally okay with. You don't have to be a good mood when I walk into Nordstrom. I get it. I'm totally fine with that, right? But when I go to Disney, I I'm there for the experience, right? I want the magic, right? And in Dis at, at Paris, they just could not be fucking bothered. They did not care at all. What did you mean by bad people? Are we down? The internet tonight is going to be very bad. Now, there was already a post on the subreddit saying I was lying, that uh, there were no outages. Here is my message from my... I got a fully fight on Thanksgiving. 10 out of 10 would punch No, my you dog. didn't. Uh, here's my message that I got at 5... This is awesome, by the way. 5.20. 5.20. 10 minutes before I'm supposed to go live. Cox, we're experiencing another outage in your area, and we're working to fix the problem. We'll continue to provide text updates. Thank you for your patience and sorry for the inconvenience. Text stop to opt out of whatever. 10 fucking minutes before going live. So I'm like, I guess I'm canceling. And then it came back up like two minutes before going live. I'm like, okay, I guess we just go live. I don't know. So if the internet's terrible tonight, I apologize. What are your thoughts on the dream situation? Can I be honest with you? I don't know. Here's what I, here's, here's, here's my, okay. This is my blanket thoughts on dream. Uh, but I don't know his, so I'll give blanket thoughts, okay? If Dream is sexting people over the age of 18, I don't think I could care less. I don't give a shit if Dream is sexting adults. In fact, you caring is really pathetic and lame and boring, and you really should find more important things to care about than two adults sexting, okay? That's my first thought. Pause right there. 
if Dream is sexting children, his platform should be gone and he should go to jail. I don't know what's going on with it because I'm not following the Dream situation. Uh, I, I don't know. I have no clue what's going on, but I'll say it again for the people in the back. If Dream is sexting adults, leaking that is like revenge porn and is really cringe and is like, like holy fuck, you, what the fuck's with that? Why do we care that an adult sexted an adult? If Dream is sexting kids, say goodbye to your career, say hello to a nice little cot in a prison cell, brother. But I want to be clear, I don't know. I don't know because I'm not following the fucking story. I don't know. Gumball the goat though, that dude seems unwell. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I've seen that video and it was funny. We all love dunking on Dream. We all loved it. But Gumball, whatever his fucking name is, that dude seems unwell, dude. Straight up. Unwell but based. I hope we're, okay, so we're allowed to say that word now because I'm ready. I've been lying in the shadows Dream, for two. Except that he basically <laughs> stole his logo from a pedo. R real? He's bipolar, clearly, clearly. Uh, more Chris Hansen I no more Chris Hansen I is there like a definitive dream did sex the kid uh, uh, is that a definitive at this point because I'll tell you right now here's what I've been seeing cursory as far as the dream thing as in it comes through my uh, timeline dream sex did a kid no he didn't dream sex did a kid no he didn't and so then when that happened twice I went I'm out I, I don't care you guys figure it out Set, just please just figure it out I don't care He's a moaner. Are you not? He's a moaner. Are you not? Listen, I'm sorry. Do you lay there and come like this? Like Buzz fucking Lightyear in the, in the packaging? Jesus fucking Christ. Kinda? Well, maybe that's why you're not doing it often, bucko. Humboldt I'm gonna keep it- is gay. He has the Bro, pass. I'm gonna keep it an absolute buck for you, okay? If you last ain't stream in got your... me thinking, we need Chris Hansen TTS voice at LaWall. Real. If you ain't in your girl's ear or your dude's ear, making absolute fucking dead whale noises, bro. Okay, mm. it's no wonder you aren't getting laid. Oh my God, boys, we need. Listen, if 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 the if the criticism of the lady is the starfish, the criticism of the dude is stoic shadow man as you come. Nah, you gotta let them know. Oh, oh! <laughs> well, becomes like a girl. You better fucking believe I do. In my little skirt and my thigh highs. You never had a buzz job before. A hot buzz J. The corresponding <laughs> orgasm is literally to infinity and beyond. <laughs> you got me there. That's pretty funny. That was okay. Josh Giddy. What is that? You guys are spamming it. You want me to read it? I read it. Now what? Is this? How you guys want to do stream? Uh, Wubby fans, get in our Black Friday blowout. Or immerse yourself in the Wubby Cinematic Universe with our exclusive Wubby Cinematic Universe figures. Snag your own tan Wubby, Bruce, cool Wubby, and usable inhaler. I might just get one. That might be cheaper than my insurance covers. Bald Wubby figures at a sensational discount. Perfect for regarded fans and non... You misspelled subs. That's fine. This Black Friday seized the opportunity. My mom has seizures. Google Josh Giddy I don't and know about you guys, Pito? but I sound like a rubber chicken when I nut. <laughs> As Who's, you should. I'm coming to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Who is this warranty? guy? Who is Josh Giddy? Guys, I don't care. What does this mean? Josh Giddy, NBA, looking into thunder allegations. Oh, he fucked a kid? Yo. That's crazy. Someone's got to tell these people that, like, adults are so fucking hot. <laughs> Yo, wow. He has photos with her naked and shit. Yo, what the fuck? As someone in chat just said, it is so fucking easy to not have sex with a kid. <laughs> Will you please get new glasses? Bro, you're late on the glasses, hey? They love it now. The chat's already found love in the glasses, okay? You you need to- it's time for you to move on. Nah, bro. You said that shit so nonchalantly. I'm sorry, if I sat here and did this, well... Well, it's- it's- it's not that easy to not do. What do you mean nonchalant? This should be the most nonchalant thing for you to say. What are you talking about? Um. <clears throat> anyway, the glasses look great, my little pog champ. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh! Chat, we got a lot to go over tonight, okay? Thoughts on this clip? I'm gonna look at this clip, and I might not even play it out loud because I don't know what it is. Um... What? What are my thoughts on this? Well, let's get chat's thoughts on this. What is this, bro? I mean, if Dream is a pedo, all he has to do Time is make is a half-ass apology boredom. video. And we will forget about it like we did with the others. Who? Who? Which other one did we forget about? Oh my god, I forgot. Alright, so this was linked to me and it said, thoughts? <laughs> this is... <laughs> I have a few thoughts. I have a few oh wait, I'm not even on screen! I'm not even on screen! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Why is happening? Those are my feet! God! Oh god, everything's falling apart! It's- Why is everything my feet?! And when I see stuff like this, I can justify masturbating in a tent. And I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'm not saying this woman should be banned. In fact, I think there should be straight up. Speaking of pedos, it's been a long yeah. time ago. But have you ever talked about the poke tuber nappy? I used to watch him, but I feel like it. Tallulah Lula with a hundred. Is the second I put something on like this, you drop a hundo bomb, bro? Oh, well, I guess we'll finish it, bro. Every recommended clip. This is crazy, dude! All right, I'll keep playing it! She's like, it's like if Sushi Dragon was, was I'm not gonna be mean. It's like if, it's like Sushi Dragon. Wow, this one's just titled, wow. Anyone else watching like this right now? You know, anyone else? Dude, this is actually crazy. What the fuck? I mean, listen, I, I have, I feel like I've grown over the years because I think a lot of the bitterness when I was a young and up and coming streamer was I was getting banned all the time. I was getting banned for every little thing. And then I'd see stuff like this and I'd go, this is not okay. As time has gone on, I have not gotten banned for really pushing the line. So when I see stuff like this, I go, can we take it further? Because I don't mind. I, I'll, I'll say this. I've been saying this. Twitch needs an 18 plus section. They never will. Where anything like goes, right? I should be able to go play a porn game in the 18 plus section and go do whatever the fuck I want. And I'm fine. Can we take it higher? Well, let's see. This is crazy though. I'm, and I'm gonna let her play. I mean, Hunter says, you know. <laughs> Woo! I dated two guys after I got over 20. Not Taytangi, Yone Hangi, two million back up so for fucking Pelion Tuan. Pelion Tuan, two million back up there, honest. So my life is so fucking boring. She was casting a spell. Damn. Multilingual. Well, congrats to her. That was crazy. Good for her, man. Thank you to Lula Lula for the uh, 100 subs. You don't have to do that. Cheers to that, though, brother. Four Cheers on that one. I bought gamer hey, Wubby. Today. Happy holidays oh, on well, Wednesday. Thank you. Someone told me their family has salmon for Thanksgiving instead of turkey or ham. Is that unhinged? Salmon for Thanksgiving instead of turkey or ham tells me that... You know what that is? You know that old guy who's trying to live forever by, like, injecting his son's blood... That's the type of energy of, I'm having salmon for Thanksgiving. Like, I listen, I'm okay with salmon. I like salmon for some things. But thanks, have salmon on the side. Have, have multiple dishes. That Toes is unhinged. Like my big That's gross. Food, thank you for the five. That's really, oh, oh, thank you for the five. I appreciate it. I gotta close this. By the way, I see people buying them and I want to thank you. Babe Watcher Bob! Babe Watcher Robert! What happened to the oven rice? Uh, oh, the oven rice. Oh, I took a photo of the oven rice. Now, it's not as bad as you think because you really got to dig into it to get to the mold, but I didn't want to touch it. Let me, I, I took a photo. I looked I got up a, Skeet Hansen based on your recommendation. Yeah. Turns out Skeeter is black. Who knew? Yes, yes, that Skeeter is, is, is quite black. Like as, well, <clears throat> forgive me, father. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm, I have to send this photo of the moldy rice to myself here. 
And you know how my upload speed be. Give Griff the Myth. Thank you for the five. Appreciate you. Um, oh, I have so much to talk about. Let me show you this moldy rice, though. You got me distracted. Never watching Doug again. Who? I've never even really watched. Thoughts on JOI porn? Like jerk off instructions? Um, listen, I think that um, it. Li mm, can I be honest with you? Jerk off porn, I'm I'm never going to paint myself into a corner and say any kind of porn is not good, right? Because God knows, you know, I, you'll find a clip of me recommending uh, almost everything. Workouts can make you spew hands free. Look up Just, orgasms. Okay, well, stop. You guys are really distracting me. Thank you, Autumn Adder, for the 10! But, like, jerk off porn, I'll, I'll say this. As of recent, you know, as of, like, the last few years... You watch jerk off porn, and then when it's over, it's 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 more lonely than just watching regular porn. I get, I'm like, it's like it it just I don't know. It's a it's a bit of a it's a I don't know. I kind of avoid it now at this point. It does nothing for me. Yeah, yeah. I kind of put it in one tier below hentai, as in maybe once in a while, maybe, maybe JOI is fun. It's like Simon says. See, I don't like playing children's games when I'm... The fuck did I just walk back in on? All right, let me show you this mold real quick. Hold on, let me show you this mold. Okay, here it is. Oh, you can see... Oh, ooh. I haven't actually looked at this for very long. Just so you guys know, I wore an N95, like a full mask gear for this. So, by the way, I was at... Ooh. Okay, trigger warning. I know some people do not do well with mold. This looks like a straight up like blueberry muffin. <laughs> so fair warning. I said it was three weeks. I was later informed that this rice was left in the oven for almost six. So here it is. Fair warning. Mold warning. If you can't handle stuff like this, look away now. Three, two, one. So here it is. Um, and... Uh, it, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ha! Woo! <laughs> Oven lice. <sighs> it's not that bad. See, I think a lot of it was, as my friend Encanto would say, under the surface. I think there was a layer of rice protecting. It looks seasoned. It just looks like soy sauce. It's not that bad. That's what I'm saying, bro. It wasn't even that bad. <sighs> not that bad. Not that bad. Why was it red? You've never put... Bro, bro, bro doesn't put saffron on his rice? <laughs> You're out here, bro. Some of y'all's rice game, I'm sorry. Some of y'all absolutely killing yourself here by not eating rice properly. Y'all don't use saffron? Have you? Am I actually going to put you guys on to the absolute goaded way to eat rice? Wasted saffron? Real. I'm poor. You can get cheap saffron. You can get cheap saffron, bro. Don't act. Go to your little Asian market. Okay, you can get some cheap saffron. Relax. Okay, wait. Saffron is too expensive. Bro, no it. Okay, real saffron. Like, the actual spice in a tin. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But you can get bullshit liquid-ass saffron from any fucking market, and it is nothing. Let me tell you, it's going to take your cheap-ass rice and change it to... Oh, my God. I can't believe how many people don't know saffron. Oh, my God. So it's not saffron? Can I win with you fucking people? Fake ass gross. And so now you guys are poor shaming me. First, it was too expensive. So I give you the cheaper alternative that I use. And now chat's going fucking fake ass poverty saffron, bro. Are you too poor for it? Or is it too exp Which is it? How about you saffron these balls, bro? Fake vanilla. Okay, so it doesn't matter real or fake unless you got a crazy palate, which you don't have a crazy palate because if you're too poor to afford saffron, you probably don't aren't going to be able to even tell the difference, right? So let me explain. Saffron, let me show you a photo of this, okay? Bottled bottled liquid saffron. Okay, this shit right here is is like genie semen. This is liquid motherfucking 21 bucks on Amazon and this shit's going to last you God knows, this is going to last you a very long time. Many, many rice dishes. How do I Ugh, I gotta take a screenshot. This is so garbage. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. This is exactly what I'd be using. How long until it molds? Okay, stop with the mold. We're not talking about mold anymore. I can't believe how many of you don't know what saffron is. All right, check this. All right, look. So this bad boy right here, 20 bucks on Amazon. Okay, probably even cheaper elsewhere. This is going to last you months. When you're cooking rice, by the way, cook basmati rice not this fucking shitty sticky chinese ass 
We're talking good rice. Cook it the right way. Let it fluff. Don't overcook it to where it's sticky, okay? We're not eating with chopsticks, motherfucker. We don't need it to be sticky. He has straight up a health potion then. While you're steam- Ew, basmati rice! We're not getting into this. So the point is, you take this while you're steaming it, and you pour it over the rice a little bit, and it adds not only the most goaded flavor to the rice, but it's aromatic. It's gonna stink up your house in the best way possible. Now this might be because I grew up with my father in a Middle Eastern home, but let me tell you right now, when the house smelled like saffron, it meant food was a coming, baby. Are you sure? Well, did y'all not know that Wubby was Middle Eastern? I know this is crazy. Fuck sticky rice, Hispanic rice on top. Everything is better than sticky rice. Bro, sticky rice is like eating uh, 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 gelatinized water. Sticky rice is purely a vehicle to get other more delicious things into your body. I'm sorry, but sticky rice is flavorless. It when is will you learn awful. you can never truly win with chat? Anyone saying that sticky rice is the best way to eat rice, I, I have to call you out right now. You are criminally uncultured. Criminally. Sticky rice has no flavor. It has nothing going on. It is the worst form of rice. Now, hold on. Cinnamon sugar rice? What are you talking about? I'm talking about just straight up like out, out, the, out the rice cooker sticky rice you would have with other stuff. If you, you can't eat that alone because it is so fucking flavorless. Basmati rice just straight out the bag is oh 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 you're literally rage baiting dude sticky rice on its own is just a vehicle it is just a vehicle someone in chat just said well what about sushi can someone please argue for me right now because that's crazy you must not even be understanding what we're talking about what about sushi we're not what do you mean what about sushi brother we're not talking about sushi because sushi is 15 fucking things going on what are you talking about Sushi is the soy sauce, or the other sauce, or the eel sauce, or the, the fish that's on top, or the rice paper, or the the rice itself is the least tasty part. As an part. Asian man, you're only spitting facts. Yes, sir. I know I am, bro. Rinse basmati rice first or not? Of course, you rinse it three times. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jasmine rice is the best. We're not doing this again, guys. We're not going to do this again. <clears throat> Uncultured in this fuck in this house, bro. I learned about saffron watching the hit Disney movie Ratatouille. I remember Stushi sharing his favorite scene in the movie where the main character gets milked. Okay. Relapse! Did I thank you for those subs? I don't know if I did, but if I didn't, thank you again. Thank you, Relapse. Sticky rice is bad. Okay, let me let me be clear, because now now my take is getting kind of put out of context. Sticky rice is not bad. When I go to like Asian restaurants, Korean, Chinese food. Japanese food, I want, I expect sticky rice and I want the sticky rice. On its own, sticky rice though, is the most flavorless, worst way to consume just rice. It is the least delicious way to consume rice. It's not salted, it has no flavor, it tastes like sticky, it tastes like congealed fucking water because it's used as a an ingredient in everything else. You put some meat on top, you put whatever, you get a big bite, right? A bowl of well-prepared basmati rice is a fucking meal on its own. It, that's it. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, bro, but you're just wrong. I'm sorry. Tiny Brain Kayla, even the women are getting in on this. No matter how small their brains are. What is this eBay link? Huh. Blue Ninja Duck, thank you for the five. I gotta show this to chat. Now this is fat. I appreciate this actually. This is fascinating. Now Blue Ninja Duck, wait, well, you didn't send this, but you did give five. I appreciate that. Now this might be something we want to look into here. Here we have on eBay right now, you could actually make an offer on this or just buy it outright if you don't want to compete. We have a single uncooked grain of rice here. 51 people are watching this. Now this is, man. What, see, I respect that he knows what it's worth, but he's also willing to negotiate. We have <laughs> 10K or best offer. I will say, and I've seen this strategy used before, 
in in single rice sales like this. And I I am going to say it does frustrate me because I'm wondering how many people have fallen for it in the past. He's holding the single grain with a palm wide, right? Pinky to thumb as wide as he can make it. And it's not fooling me. I recognize that he could actually relax his hand even just a little bit. And the rice would probably comfortably still sit on it. Now we know, we all know when buying single grains here, the, the stretch of the palm is really the measure of how good the rice grain is. No gloves, listen, I argue no gloves so you can handle it better, but I do understand the argument of gloves. Um, pictures don't match. Ooh, that is a good find. The secondary picture here, that is a different grain. And you might be saying, Wubby, make the, make the photo bigger. But actually, these are roughly the same size in the, in the thumbnail, so we can compare quite easily. That looks like a different rice grain. Now that's frustrating. And maybe it's from a different side. Fair. Repacked. <laughs> Not even graded. Well, a lot of them like to buy it raw. <laughs> you know, well, people like to grade it themselves. <laughs> Check the sub. What's on the sub? Let me first shout out gamer subs. Gamer subs Black Friday deals going on. Apparently, I leaked. Apparently, I leaked all the designs for the gamer subs Black Friday thing. I'm sorry. Um, apparently, I leak a lot of stuff that I'm not supposed to. Yes, you did, Wubby. Okay, well, hey, I'll be the first to say I can admit when I'm wrong. And this is their fault for even letting me see it. So evidently, guys, I showed you all of these designs like two days early. So hey, if you got them, use code Wubby, all right? Let them know. Pay money, cock and ball. That's a weird one. That one got away from me a little bit. I don't know what that is. But here they are. A lot of, two of them sold out already, but still uh, plenty more. Uh, so if you spend 30, you get the stickers. Spend 50, you get the sleeve and stickers. If you spend 75, you get a free shirt and stickers and sleeve. And the other well, ones are sold out. didn't want you to leak things, then they should know better than to send them to you early by now. That's so true. That's so true. Would you support my butt? I would. They finally put your stickers in the new sticker pack. What? Yo! Anyway, guys, if you want it, you can buy any of this stuff. Use code Wubby at checkout, whatever you buy. That's why I encouraged you guys. I guess I wasn't supposed to, so I, hey, Gamer Where Subs, Where is the Gamer Subs professional line? I, I, I we don't have one. Uh, I do, I do apologize to Gamer Subs, but with that being said, I told you guys on uh, Wednesday to not, if you're gonna buy Gamer Subs, wait till Friday, because all this is gonna be coming out. So there you go. Uh, so now... Go for it. Have fun. Did they punish you, Daddy? I haven't heard anything from them. I heard from the subreddit that Wubby leaked it all, and I was like, oh, fuck. So Wubby Wubberton the third. what the Wubby family be eating on Thanksgiving? Zip zap zam. Give the deets. Lock the Porsche so they don't take it back. For my cold dead hands, bro. All vehicular manslaughter. 360 and subs heading my way. Dude, thank you, by the way. I want to be clear. I, I, I said this earlier. If you're gonna buy gamer subs, just do it Friday because it's gonna be cheaper and you're gonna get more for it. But listen, I'm not trying to, if you have other things you wanna buy and don't go out and buy it unless you want it, all right? Don't be like, oh, well, the da da da, I wasn't even gonna get any. No, just if you were gonna get gamer subs now, it's a cheap way to do it and you get some free shit with it. Otherwise, just wait. It's not cheaper though. It is though. Well, I guess a lot of it's sold out now, so. Uh, I really wish that sometimes instead of a girlfriend, I just had you. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be weird. Not for anything sexual, but just, you make me smile, you make me laugh, you make me so happy, Wubby. I love you, in a platonic way. It doesn't bother me that you all know, or my girlfriend finds out, I, th I don't think I can love a woman as much as my heart is in love with you. Bro, what the fuck? Are we back? We're down? Hello? <laughs> we live? No F at all? You guys can't make up your mind. Hold on, I just got... Oh, my grandma texted me. I miss seeing you so much yesterday, crying face... I had such a great time at P.F. Chang's. <laughs> I took her to P.F. Chang's the other day. Thank you again. I'll see you at Christmas, and I'll be sure to bring penguins. I love you, sweetie. Oh, oh! I took that old bitch to P.F. Chang's, bro. I took that old bitch to P.F. Chang's. From the dead? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She's texting you from heaven? Yeah. Yeah. Banned by Nips. Oh my god, by the way, <clears throat> long time mod, one of the oldest frog viewers in this chat, Senior Stinkfist. You guys probably know him, you've seen him in chat all the time. He got indefinitely banned last stream. Senior Stinkfist got indefinitely banned. 
uh, for making some joke during the Chris Hansen stream. Uh, so I'm going to work with my rep on that, but I'm, I'm really confused as to what's happening. I don't know what's going on with Twitch. I don't know why we can, can't say things in my chat, like show nips, but then we got, you know, oiled titties dancing her heart out. God bless her, by the way, she should be able to, and I should be able to say show fucking nipples in my own chat. Right? So I don't know what he got banned for. I don't think it was nips. He made a joke or something, but the thing is, Senor is like one, I think he's got to be top five oldest viewers at this point and i don't just mean his age <laughs> i mean how long he's been in the stream uh and he's he is a friend of mine as well i got banned uh gotta try again no okay wait listen he got banned he appealed it instant rejection of appeal indefinite ban and by the way senor is a mod of mine this isn't some fucking guy he's been modding for me for years what did he say i can ask him i'll ask him right now he, I think he was making a joke during the Chris Hansen thing. Oh, Alex messaged me. Yeah, I know, Alex. I know. Mac Chuck, how you doing, bro? Thank you for the 10. How you been? Uh, I'm going to message Senor right now. I'm going to ask him what he said. What did you say to get banned? <laughs> I mean, here's the problem, though. No matter what he said, you're going to read it. And it's like, it's still out of... The, you need to remind yourself of the context. The context is, we're watching a Wubby stream... And my and he is a moderator and close friend of mine, which means he ha, I, he would have had to have said something, in my opinion, to get an indefinite ban. Outwardly, overtly racist, or a slur, right? Like straight up, like what else could get him banned? Everything else, I could be like, no, that's a friend of mine, and that's a joke. What else could? Oh, he said the N word, hard R. Okay, that's fair. I'm kidding. He's also not that kind of guy. He doesn't really make jokes like that. Wubby, can you not see the chat to deduce what it was? I'm just asking himself. Choco Dave, how you doing? I'll check right now, actually. Whatever happened to the wrong number, Grandma? She never hit me up again. Oh my God, I can't check his uh, account. Oh my God. How funny would it be if everyone in chat types what Senor said? You're funny, chat. I love you. You uh, Don't and do before it. Before he you, called you, Skeeter the N-word. Don't do it. D dude, look. Look at this. Fucking idiots, dude. Fucking idiots. Twitch, you are a... F Twitch, you are... God, I hate... I hate your fucking feet, dude! I hate it! I hate it! Okay, hold on. Um, oh, wait. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got an answer from Senor. They didn't tell me why. It might have been... He's guessing now. It might have been when the pervert said the sex had to be free because he was a cop. And then Senor wrote, nothing worse than a cheap pedophile. <laughs> but that's what... What? I... Okay, hold on. Watch. Twitch, ban me now. There's nothing worse than a stingy, cheap pedophile. What's wrong with saying that? It was in context. There was the irony. It was... Oh my God. He's literally making fun of this pedophile we were watching on Chris Hansen's show being stingy. What the f- If that's ban-worthy, this whole chat is fucked. Like, we have conversations like this. He said the word midget. Midget, 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 midget! Who cares? The worst part is the hypocrisy. You know, I'm just gonna say this. I don't even care anymore. Twitch, if you got a fucking problem with the way my chat talks, how about you come talk to me about moderating and give me the opportunity to do that? And until then, I'm going to say this. I don't give a fuck. Ban me then. Anyone who gets banned in my chat indefinitely by Twitch for some dumbass shit that is allowed on the platform, okay? Anyone who gets banned, I am strongly encourage you, make another account. I don't give a... Just make multiple accounts. Who gives a fuck? Just keep fucking making accounts. I don't even care anymore. Twitch, if you got a problem... With, with me encouraging people to do ban evasion, okay? If you have a problem with that, then how about this? How about you stop indefinitely banning my chatters for saying things that are allowed to be said on the platform? I'm sorry, but I'm over it. It doesn't make sense. I have close personal friends hanging out in my chat getting indefinite permabans for things that are allowed to be said on Twitch. Now, pause. Hold on. Now, if they were in someone else's chat making them uncomfortable, yeah, we can talk. They're getting banned talking in my chat, following my moderation rules, and following Twitch's moderation rules. If anybody's getting indefinitely banned because of my chat, which I, I don't know what's happening, please ban evade. 
ban evade make a new account come right back here tell me what happened i don't give a fuck dude and until twitch acknowledges it until they acknowledge it i'm gonna keep encouraging people to ban evade why because they are perma banning people in my chat who aren't breaking the rules of tos i'm dude i'm so easy to work with twitch if twitch came to me and said hey wubby we've noticed your chat is using a word that we don't think is appropriate on our platform. Could you start moderating it? I would say, oh, I would say yes. I would play ball because guess what, dipshits? I've been playing ball for years. There are so many words I've removed from my vocabulary because it's bannable on Twitch. <clears throat> Senor's login, Senor's logs in mod chat. I'll read it. Um, even the dude, even if Senor said something, let's let's. I'm just gonna okay. Let's call a spade a spade here. What if Senor said a bad joke? It's just inappropriate joke, right? Maybe he used the word retard midget and he made a really offensive joke, right? Okay. And let's say Twitch hated that. Why not give him a seven day? Why not give him a three day? I'm, really? He is, Twitch has literally gone on record saying you are not allowed on our platform. So battle juice, he, battle juice, battle juice. I, 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 like what? I, what? I'm losing my mind here. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to get this heated about it, but I'm losing my fucking mind here. I'm losing my mind when I, the more I think about it, the more I'm losing my fucking mind here. Did he say Fortnite balls? <laughs> I'm losing my mind here. Sorry for triggering you. Banned by nips. <laughs> okay, man. You gifted subs. You're fine. Anyway, yeah. Anyone who gets my... Oh, wait. Uh... That's crazy, senor. I, if that's true, that's crazy. <clears throat> I'm going to check the mod chat to see what his logs look like. But I don't... I don't... You know, I don't want to see him just spamming the end. I wonder if they're banning all the obvious white people in Kaya chat saying the N-word with an indefinite ban. You know, <clears throat> you know. What doesn't make sense to me is Twitch can just not allow the chat message to be sent in the first place. You know, okay, here we go. Here is Senor, um, bro, I'm afraid to say anything in chats now. I say some horrible but endearing things. Yeah, that's the crazy thing is that chat self-moderation is actually the best thing about Twitch because you get to understand context in your own chat, which is why, for example, Kai Sinet's chat is filled with the N-word. Why is that allowed? Because his culture on Twitch, like the Twitch culture he's cultivating, allows for that word to be used in a way that he feels works for his community. If my chat was filled with the N-word, I would ban all those fucking people, right? I would ban all of them because... We're not, we don't have a community that is comfortable spamming that word. Self-moderation on Twitch is the most amazing thing. What's happening in my chat right now is Twitch is coming in and indefinitely banning people for no reason. With nothing. Valis is another one. Yep. I'm losing my mind here. Um, okay, I have Senor's messages here. Clippers and a toe knife. I can get you a kid by 3 o'clock. All this is related to the video we're watching, by the way. And also, more importantly, all this was shit I was saying, but 10 times worse. Twitch is trying to put you off the platform. I, I'm be honest with you, I, I considered that. That's a little weird to think about, but there's no way. There's no way they're, 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 that would, be, I'm sorry, but if that, if there was definitive proof of that, that would be, that would be catastrophic for their image. Oh, well, we can't ban you, so we'll just start banning your chatters indefinitely so you don't have viewers anymore. That's why I'm going to keep telling you, hey, if you're banned right now, ban evade. Create a new account. If you got banned in the last week for some dumb shit, ban evade. Ban evade. And if Twitch has a problem with it, my DMs are always open, you dipshits. You, con you don't contact me in any way. This is what you get for pointing out my feet on school. They're disgusting! Sorry. Literally, just at Dan Clancy on Twitter, dude. You shared a stage with his crusty feet. I'm sure he'll respond. Um... I, I mean, I guess I could just at him on Twitter. I just feel so like, like, it feels like I'm trying to grab attention for it at this point when it's like, I don't think I should have to. You know what I mean? All right, let me keep reading his logs. Uh, I haven't seen you on WoW in a few days. What's up? Okay, that's mean. Nothing worse than a cheap pedophile. Okay. He also said her butthole. And you like jazz? Um, uh, I would beat the shit out of them. What? Okay. Big clit. There's nothing in here that's no... Di <laughs> What's happening? It depends on the state. Lying in order for someone to self-incriminate or give them... This is just a normal chatter. You like jazz? 
I don't know. I don't understand. And even if you can, if you want to spin something that he said something wrong, if you want to spin something, an indefinite ban? An indefinite ban? Uh, Twitch added AI auto mod recently. It doesn't understand context and you can't turn it off. Ooh. Ooh. That can't be true. That can't be true. That's crazy. Someone reported him in chat for sure. Senor, I'm not even lying. I'll just DM this part to you. I actually don't want to say it out loud. I see you guys typing. You're stupid. Anyway, we'll move on from that. Twitch went to the red, went Reddit route and uses AI to moderate. Oh, they use AI to moderate just like Reddit. You guys remember on Reddit where like people were getting indefinite bans for using the word retard in my subreddit? That is crazy, bro. That is great, bro. That is retarded, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. I got bad news for the AI. Hey, it's not working. It's not working. Um, but does Twitch use a dude aquatic? You hit the nail on the head, but is Twitch using AI for the appeals? Exactly. Exactly. Well, I under, okay, listen, you got an over, I, this, bro, this deja vu. I, this is the same quote I gave three years ago when I was banned. Hey, I get it. If you want to shoot from the hip, that's fine. But then have a moderation team that can review appeals as quickly as you shoot from the hip. That's fair. Why are people getting automatically fucking banned and automatically uh, appeal denied this is crazy he got banned well, for making a thread for he clip. said they would beat their ass out of context we, we can't I, i'm sorry we can't make jokes now when we're watching videos what are you talking about what the, how and i under again if you want to say that that's a threat okay make that argument make that argument so why not appeal it why not talk to me what are you talking about no jokes all right we'll just sit here you know i need to get oiled up I'm getting mad. I'm getting based. I need to calm down. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna say something I don't mean. I'm gonna have Finding a gamer moment here. You should copy paste in yours messages into please. chat. See if you get banned. I will do that right now. Actually, I will literally do that Can't right now. Take me higher. I will literally do that right now. Skeeter I'm not even lying. Points. I'm gonna do that right now. Wubby wubby woo. Actually, I'm gonna do it Can offline. Take me higher. I'm gonna do it offline. Hi, I'm gonna... <laughs> until one. Well, it's been fun, boys. Can you? Take I'm gonna do it offline. Higher? I can! I'm sorry I posted it. <sighs> I'm gonna do it offline. Really I don't want you guys all copying really and pasting it. Alright, let's move on. We're done talking about the band. Stay safe out there, boys. Evade, 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 evade. Keep evading. And if they have a problem with that, good. Maybe they'll talk to me. You know, at least when they ban me, I can hit reply. Right? So evade, evade, evade. TT says, hey, Wubby, do you think we can open either magic cases or counter strike cases tonight? Why do you want to gamble? Also, why how why are you saying that for TT? Alright. Um, moving on, let's talk. The talent show is this Sunday, which, or I'm sorry, talent show. The is Wubby it because the amount of time a chatter was timed out? Uh, I seize it as a repeat offender and just perma them. Maybe, but Senor is a mod. He's never timed out, and he's been a member of the stream for thousands of messages and years. So it's a very strange choice. Um, all right, the talent show or Wubby's weird exotic people show is this sunday and if you haven't submitted you still have time you still have time to submit in fact let me show you one of the top posts right now last time we saw the guy who could honk like a duck here's this guy's talent remember this is the top post on the subreddit right now in the thread so if you don't think you have talent well don't worry this guy's got you covered this is the top post One more time. So, I can't wait for Sunday. We are going to... Apparently, mods have already been watching them and organizing, I think. And either way, uh, people are excited. I'm excited. Me and Booty were talking. We're very excited about this Wubby Circus this Sunday. One more time, guys. Just to get you hype. Wow. Wow. Sunday is certainly going to be 
A show? Oh, would you say P-Rex? You said something. I thought you were going to say they were watching an orgasm. Yeah, we got a Google Doc with some ratings. Sunday's going to be... Well, how about this? We're going to be live. And yes, someone is about to win thousands of dollars for doing something that stupid. It could be you, chat. It could be you. Go submit. There is still time. How can we beat this guy? That's up for you. That's up, socks, then that's, up for, that's up for you to decide to, for you. If you don't get banned, I want Twitch to ban me for what I'm doing right now because I'm not doing fucking anything wrong. I need a new controversy, bro. Go on. Ban me for this shit. Ban me for doing absolutely fucking nothing wrong. Please. Please. I need to dust off the cans. Come on. Uh, Do something. His talent is showing those stinky grippers. Found this. Have everyone voted on it? What? How can we improve moderation? Wait, how do you vote on this? Oh, 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 pin that, Ham. Pin that, pin that, pin that, yo. Pin that, yo. If, wait, so if they vote on this? Right now, making mature jokes in chat can get chatters permanently suspended globally on Twitch without any human intervention. Clarification, this is not about regular Automa, but a hidden global AI. Oh my God, this is a real problem. Holy fuck. This is a real ass problem. The AI-based Automat, so you can vote. Oh my God. So this is what, if you, if enough people vote on this, Twitch will take a look at it. Is that what the implication here is? Bro, Twitch just loves pain. I swear to God. No. What is it? What does voting do for this then? Nothing will get fixed. This is crazy, dude. Comedy is dead. <laughs> Twitch does not listen to user voice. It's a gimmick. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna call for violence. I was, I've was i been watching a lot of streamers on Twitch and I've heard that, you know, when you're oppressed for long enough, we can be violent. So chat, I'm gonna call for violence. And, I'm, and I, I swear to God, if these motherfuckers don't cover me in a positive light, then they're hypocrites. Because I'm telling you right now, we are being silenced on, <laughs> we are being silenced on Twitch, okay? We're being silenced on Twitch. We're not allowed to speak. This is a user voice basically suggested form. I've seen user's voice suggestions being implemented. Well, you can go talk to uh, uh, TT about it because he says you're stupid and wrong. Take a news outlet. Um, no, I mean, really, though, that's cr like, yeah, it, it's it's may not seem like a big problem to you. But chat, I want you to ask yourself a question. If your account, you in chat right now, if you got permad tomorrow, that would kind of suck, right? That would kind of suck a little bit, at least. If you're a streamer, what if I'm in Peanuts chat and I say something off color because we're homies and it's allowed on Twitch and it's just a mature joke between friends? What if I get permud? That's crazy. Make a YouTube video and spread the word about it. I would need some more hard hitting evidence for it. I think we need a few more high profile bands. When do you start multi streaming on other platforms with Ludwig's plugin? The chat's actually decent. I'll consider it. Uh, refresh the page. The votes have already doubled. We'll go ahead and vote, guys, if you want to vote, and hopefully something can be done about it. Dan Clancy, you're a strange individual, and God bless you. All right. <clears throat> Here's my favorite streamer. I saw this clip on Reddit today, and I, I, I blew milk out my nose. I blew milk out my nose. XQC getting into a little, little, uh, you know, he's, he's going, uh, he's, he's arguing with some, uh, some people on what is this, like an Omegle clone? I don't know what this is, but man, XQC fumbles the bag here a little bit, and I laughed. Shouldn't have, but I uh, laughed. Out of here, nigga. The fuck? Nobody want to talk to your goofy ass, nigga. You like bro, shaggy. Bro, you bro, like you pet dog bro. bro. I'm going to give it a buck. I'm going I'm to give it a buck. Like I, can, I piece can piece take piece, my bro. daily check what? and buy your entire fucking bloodline. <clears throat> Hmm. <laughs> 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 now listen, we all know. Oh, <laughs> oh. Now I'm gonna be obviously. X says this, and in the full clip, in the full clip, he goes, "Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that." Some of you in chat are, are weird. Some of you in chat are weird. Now, I'll be real. He he definitely did. I know what he meant. The use of the term bloodline. And the way this just whole interaction goes down is it's it's like the the star is aligned for the most. Yo, isn't that illegal now, X? That's what I'm. This is a crazy thing to say, bro. One more time. It's very funny. Here, nigga. The fuck, nobody want to talk to your goofy ass, nigga. You like bro, shaggy, bro. You bro, like you pet dog, bro. Bro, 
I'm gonna give it a buck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a buck. I can, I can take my daily check and buy your entire fucking bloodline. Out of here, nigga. Oh, I just thought it was funny. I want to share with you guys. Hey, if I ever say something crazy like that, do not clip it. Let that one die in stream, please. The silence after. In the full clip, it's, I don't know if I can play it. The other guy drops a, a gumball slur. And uh, and then X is kind of just sitting there and he goes, Chat, you're being weird. Chat, you're being weird. That's not what I meant. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? The the Okay. It accidentally came off as like extremely racist. Let's just point that out. Take that aside. We know, I believe, XCC did not mean it that way. But like, still kind of a, like, that's where you're gonna go, bro. That is, cr I hate, that is crazy. Like, ironically doing that can be funny. But unironically using that in like a, in a back and forth is crazy, dude. Was a it was a slavery joke clear as day. I don't think he was doing that. I think X was going for the whole like I'm rich, you're broke. I could buy your whole family. You know, that's what he said as a Freudian slip. I wear your house on my wrist. Exactly. He likes to go to money when uh, when he's in an argument. Those spicy French Canadians. Yeesh. Worst case, extremely racist. Best case, massive douchebag. Exactly, bro. Uh, is this your kind of humor? Is what my kind of humor? What XUC said? Abs bro, if XQC, okay, hold on, hold on. What are you even asking? Let's break that down for a second, because I got to put that to bed. If XQC said that, and he's like, oh, that was a joke. No, that would not be my kind of humor. Saying, making a weird slavery joke to another human being, it would not be my kind of humor. No, sorry, no. Thoughts on puffy assholes. Not even click it. I'm not even gonna click it. I'm not even gonna click. I didn't even see an image. I just saw words on a screen. I said nope. You can see in his eye him trying to find a way to be not racist but offensive. <laughs> Bro, me every time I boot up CS. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna play with fire here and hopefully he doesn't say. Hopefully I'm past the part where the homie says the F slur. Hey, if this guy drops an F bomb right now, just remember it's it's cool when Gumball did it, so it's cool now. Bro, I'm gonna give it a buck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a buck. I can, I can take my daily check and buy your entire fucking bloodline. This nigga is really retarded, but okay. Well, like I said, buddy boy, you probably asked. asked oh, I didn't mean like that. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, oh, I, I, I almost feel for him where I'm like, oh, you can see it washing over him. Oh. Backs. I got oh he did even oh god man that's brutal This nigga is really retarded but okay but like I said buddy boy you probably asked asked Oh I didn't mean like that Jesus Christ don't be weird about it You're over with What the fuck don't be weird about it Did you see the clip of him talking to the girls I think I did I can't find it now, though. That's crazy, though. We won't, we won't show anymore. Well, girls, he was, he was on this app. I don't even know what it is, but they're just like, people were just roasting it. That sucks. Imagine being ugly. Couldn't hey, son, be me. If Stinkfist can get indefinitely banned for liking jazz, then to the streets with this man. The gallows, even. To who? Why XUC? Have a shitty boxed up fridge in the middle of his room? I would end stream, TVH. Bro, I gotta be real. You drop a joke like that and then hit end. You're racist. <laughs> if you say that and hit end stream, you are saying with your whole chest that you are a racist person. You can't, you have to stay live for 20 plus minutes. Yeah, it's a mic drop. You have to sit there in shame. You have to deny, fight it. Cause otherwise you, you say that and end, oh, it's over. How do you even defend that? My dad at Thanksgiving found a uh, an astronaut helmet that my nephew brought. And then my dad tried to put it on and we got these two little photos that are kind of funny that I'll show you right now. Um, you know, he's really just a kid at heart or like a really big retarded person, you know? It didn't fit his face, it got stuck. Um, and I thought that was cute and I just wanted to share that little moment with you guys. And we're gonna miss him so dearly. Not a Dewey, he thought. Um, 
but he had a good time. My dad had a good time. Uh, I will say, um, <clears throat> real quick about Thanksgiving. We did talk about Israel and Palestine, which was interesting. Uh, what a weird transition. Speaking of weird transitions, we talked about Israel Palestine. I'm not going to give you details on that, but here's what I'm going to say about it. And I'm going to be real with you. What is it? What's the thing where they get real on the TV? Papa's corner. What am I even saying? Um, here's what I'll say. It was very fascinating and it was a very, it was a, it was a, it was a Jerry Springer. Yes. Where Jerry keeps it real. Yes. What's it called? How did you know? How'd you know? Um, that's what I was thinking of. What the fuck? I'll say this. Being on Twitch and being my age and being involved in internet stuff. I think it is, it is, it is rotted everyone's brains and let me explain what i mean there was a very healthy conversation last night about uh 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 th what's going on in the world right now they talked my I, I mostly just listened i don't have really strong opinions but it was fascinating at one point i'm not gonna say who but one of my family members i asked i said because they were all talking about it and i said i'm not gonna say who because i don't want you guys knowing who said it that's how hostile this world is right now but i said so-and-so, do you know, or anyone, do you know who Hassan is? And one of my family members went, oh, yeah, yeah, like Hassan Piker. Yeah, 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 I've heard of him. And I went, well, what's your opinion on him? And I go, I'm not, okay, here's how I'll word this carefully. I think that it's so fascinating being on Twitch and being on YouTube and being all in this. We think this is the world. And we think the people, it's just, it's, yes, no, we don't. Yes, we do. 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 It was just really refreshing to see a take on the events of the world, on streamers, on other people from a perspective of someone who doesn't really use Twitch and doesn't really follow Ethan Klein versus Hassan Piker. It was just interesting. It was interesting to see what other human beings think outside of uh, uh, this weird Twitch sphere. It's a big pond, but it's still a pond. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, so you're on X, dude. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this, but it was just fascinating to see. Like, like I don't know how to describe this without causing any issues. How do I word this carefully? Even family members who seem to align with Hassan's take were like, oh, that guy? Yeah, he seems really uneducated to me. I'll say that. And I was like, oh, you don't hear that much in, in the circles I'm in. You don't. And I'm like, oh, so then what do you think about... Okay, so not a big fan of Hassan. So what do you think about Destiny? And he goes, oh, I think... Yeah, I think I've heard of... Like, I've heard of this person. Yeah, I feel like he's kind of an idiot. And I went, oh, interesting. I'm like... Oh, okay surprising but both sides it's like yeah i don't really watch these like like i'm like the wording they used was like oh they just both seem pretty uneducated and i was like damn now i'm not saying they're right i'm not saying this family member that said this was right i'm just saying it's interesting to see the world i live in is pick a side Pick a side. Are you Ethan or are you Hassan on this conflict? Are you Hassan or are you Destiny on this conflict? We pick a side. I talked to my family at dinner and they're like, "Oh no, we don't deal with like the the like the, that's like that's the kid stuff. We're, we're, I'm not interested in that. No, we're just having a conversation about it." I was shocked by it. Now, granted, now granted, that doesn't mean my family members are more right or that things Hassan said are wrong or that things that Destiny said are wrong. It was just so refreshing to be like. Damn, we're just talking about this. Nobody's having an issue. There's n people are disagreeing, but nobody's mad. Cool. I don't know. It was refreshing to talk to people, adults, not in this industry, not on Twitch, not on some fucking Reddit forum, not in a, a Zoom debate on Destiny stream or whatever. It was just nice. I don't know. It was crazy. It was not black and white. Exactly, chat. Exactly. And I was so taken back by these opinions being like, whoa, welcome to the real world. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. That's all I wanted to say about it. Having a genuine conversation without blowing up about opposing opinion. Like, there were things said at the table that 
has gotten, I mean, my God, so many creators into hot water on either sides of the equation. And I'm like, damn, we're all being reasonable and understanding intent here. And we all kind of agree that like, there's like hella tribalism, like feral motherfuckers in the comments. And that's just not happening. That's just not happening in real life at this table, at least. It was cool. It was cool, man. And it was also cool to kind of hear like adults I respect kind of shit on like every political content creator. That felt good to hear. I was just like, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, dude. People said shit at my Thanksgiving last night that if a Twitch streamer or YouTuber said on Twitter, we'll get canceled within hours. Yeah, exactly though, exactly. You're a boomer W, but it is kind of a boomer W though. They're so, like, listen, they're, this, these people who are saying this are not plugged in to the point of being so fucking feral radicalized that they're ready to, ready to jump down the fucking throat of anybody who doesn't say the exact key phrase correctly. And it's nice to see that they're disconnected like that. Weddy, I'm Weddy. Um, real life is not echo chambers. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. But I do want to be clear, boomers can totally get radicalized too. There's boomers who are like plugged into Fox News getting fucking... Uh, uh, you know, uh, it's just interesting. Touch grass, people. All right, um, moving on. Thanksgiving dinner was really cool. Uh, and that's that. Yeah, like racist censor, huh? Conversations on the internet will always magnify to the extremes and it's just it seems like that's what I've been experiencing a lot of Maybe I've been watching too much of it, but it's just it's it's awful to watch any of this shit online I mean these people on on anything going on in Israel and Palestine is terrifying and oh My god, they're all I'm so happy I'm not a political person because I feel like I'd have to be talking about this shit and holy fuck I don't want any of that smoke. I do not care. Here's a turkey blowing up See, I got shown this video, and this is I was told we're not doing this, and I got sent this video. So this is why we're not doing this today. <laughs> now, honestly, hey, but that's okay. So that's a frozen turkey, though. So it wouldn't have been this bad. It wouldn't have been this bad. Well, now, show you what happens when you do the wrong thing. Hold on, why isn't he hot? I thought firefighters were supposed to be like super hot. You could be a chubby firefighter. Is there not like a physical? How does this work? How do you, be, hold on, can I be a firefighter? He is hot, all right. <laughs> can I, wait, so then can I be a fire, firefighter? But see now people are gonna be like, no, Wubby, you're too fat. No, you can't, <laughs> why not, why can't I be? If you want, <gasps> I could be a firefighter? Wait, are you guys actually saying yes? But he's packing, well obviously look at him, Jesus Christ. No, you're fat. He's not hot because there's no fire yet. Ah, uh, he fights fire. Why would he himself be hot? You have asthma. So I could be the hose handler. Dude, let me ask you this. Okay, listen. You're saying I can't be a firefighter? I love the way my father's boomer friends talk with one another, both sides of the political spectrum. It's so and nice. they roast each other. And at it's the end so of the day, they good. laugh about it and have a good time. It's truly real, amazing. Real, real, real. Absolutely real. You're saying I couldn't be a firefighter, but I'll tell you guys right now, I could absolutely lower a turkey into some oil. Would you? Okay. See, this would be the ultimate waste of my life. This is what I would do. If I won the lottery, this is the kind of shit I would do. Without even telling you fucking idiots, Craig I would go. 1000, uh, I saw a fire in the East Country and thought Wubby was trying to cook. A okay. Uh, I, I, I would do this, right? If I won the lottery and just became a secret bajillionaire, I would... In the background of my life, go become a firefighter, right? And then w the next Thanksgiving, after I became a firefighter, I would do one of these videos. And then I would just pull it up. And you guys would be like, Wubby, is that you holding the turkey? And I would gaslight. I would gaslight. I would gatekeep. I would girl boss. I'd be like, no, what? But secretly, I have been a firefighter now for eight fucking months. No, you wouldn't do that? Brother, of course I fucking wouldn't. But wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be cool? Maybe I just want to hold the turkey. Have you ever considered that? Maybe I just want to be the guy lowering the turkey into the oil. You think of that, it wouldn't be funny either. You know what? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here's the stream you want, okay? This is the stream you want. This is what you want, okay? 
This is what you want. You tell me anything, any other comedy chops you want to add? Random fucking non-sub? Anything else you got? What else do you want to add to it? Okay. Anything else? What else you got? You know, I want to thank those subs, but I'm a little pissed off. This is frustrating. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to mute my mic so I'm not tempted. I listen. Okay, guys. I do appreciate. Someone just said critical hit. I do appreciate the subs. Obviously. Oh my god. You can't listen. A lot of subs coming in. I'm gonna. But I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. Okay. There is a small part of me that this is this is very offensive to. I would like. Okay. I would like. I would. I would like to continue watching this video. Okay. Really. There's a lot of subs, guys. Really. You okay. aged out of being a firefighter in New York. The age is 30 after you can't become one. I'm not. The I'm not. Wait, that actually tells me so much. I can totally, you know what, dude? To the, I, I, dude, I'm gonna become a fucking firefighter out of fucking spite now. You know that? I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna do it. And you know what? The deal is, when I do it, you have to, you have to end your own life. I'm sorry, but that's the deal. If I do it, that is the deal. Because no, you won't. No, you won't. Then put something valuable on it. Put some real shit on it. Volunteer? No. I'm gonna become the fucking captain. You're gonna see me on the front fucking lines. There's gonna be there's gonna be a church on fire and a baby inside, and I'm gonna be standing right the fuck there in front of that church, holding that turkey, <laughs> waiting for a pot of oil to come by just in case. You better fucking <laughs> you better believe I'm gonna be standing outside. Can we get back to stream? Jesus fucking Christ, people! You just gifted me so many goddamn subs, and for what? Everyone's Rancor, Arasaka, Koinski, Leidster, Lijink, yes, this is this Baby Awis, Ethereum, Corzo, Helton Shelter, Jack the Sparrow, Resolute, Exportionist, Farty Wizard. Idiots, all of you. Okay, but the next thing. test for it is in two years. Will you still be under 30? It depends. It depends. What? What do you mean the next test for it? They don't do it. What do you mean? But they have no value, so doing that wouldn't be of equal value. How do I become a Hey, man, love you to death, but you're going to fight fires when you couldn't deal with the lack of AC in Paris? Earn EMT search. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I'll sorry. light my own house on fire from frying a frozen turkey <clears throat> just so you can rescue me, ginger boy. What do firefighters do? 2026 San Diego fire. Okay, be at least 18. Done. Okay, be at least 21. Done. Be a U.S. citizen. Done. Have good character. I don't like fires. That's one, That one's hard to measure, so we'll say maybe. Or pro we'll say probably no, but at least we'll get 9 out of 10 here. Yeah, <laughs> well. <laughs> what I mean, if you'd make a great firefighter. Your ginger beard would put out the flames. Fighting fire with fire, if you will. Have no physical or mental impairments. Okay, I'm getting a little shaky on these next ones. Well, let's start from the top. B18, done. See, if I say these fast, you'll get it. B18, done. 21, done. United States citizen, done. Have a good character. Okay, next one. Have no... Possess high school diploma, done. Hold a valid license, done. Obtain emergency service. Have valid candidate physical agility test. There's no way this motherfucker has a CPAT. How long does it take to become a firefighter? It can take two to five years. Bro, Chatter was so right. This is, I, can I be honest with you? I swear on everything. I honestly thought becoming a firefighter was straight up, you walk in, you take like a written test and maybe a physical test. And it's not through lack of respect. I think, I think firefighters are badass. I honest to God thought it was that easy. Why did you think that? I think I'm, I have a stunted uh, development like in my brain because of like childhood abuse. I, I think I'm literally, I think I'm a little bit retarded. Um, I honest to God thought 
that you could like i didn't realize they were emts too and shit i don't even know what that means in fact is that like a, an electronic payment method i don't know i don't know i don't know but i do think that um have a high school diploma capping <laughs> i do i graduated high school the fuck dude i'm not fucking stupid bro what the fuck the third most voted moderation change is banning the word retard they're gonna have to take retard from my cold dead hands. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, if that word gets banned on Twitch, I will stop saying it because I operate on Twitch currently. Yes, what, what do they want from me? Okay, but until then, bro, you know that we're gonna do a countdown until retard. If it gets banned, I swear to God, if they're like, oh, it's getting banned tomorrow, we're gonna do a 24 hour stream with a countdown and every word <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I listen. I listen. It's it's a it's listen. It's it's. I'm just being authentic. You know, it, it, I will use any word Twitch allows me to use uh, that I would normally make jokes with in my real life. Okay, here we go. Let's. Can we watch, dude? How long? How much longer can I draw this out? For a hundred bucks, you could get a police scanner off Amazon and just start showing up at burning buildings. <laughs> That's like uh, uh, night crawlers. They can't ban it. French people stream. Oh, yeah. Retard. All that and they cut away. Oh, my God. I'm screaming. Oil has a higher boiling point than water. When a frozen turkey is dropped into hot oil, the ice begins to turn into steam. Well, holy. Why do you have so much fucking oil there, dip? Bobby, I know this is off topic, but can you please search up Milo and Otis deaths? No. It's called a bleavy! Boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion! Oh, that poor turkey. Tips for avoiding a turkey disaster. Use for outside. See, guys. Who would do it in this little shed? That's crazy. Do not overfill. Yup. Yup. Keep oil under 350. The hotter the oil is, the more combustible it is. Don't use 35. What was our problem last year? I think we were just afraid to commit. I think we're afraid to commit. I think we need to do it. I think we need to do it this year. We were just afraid to commit. We're going to do it this year. I'm going to make my friends do it. I floated it by some friends and, and nobody was thrilled. The, the, yeah, we needed to do it. We need to fucking just commit and do it. All right. Uh, did Wubby leak the gamer subs thing? Yes, I did. Alright, real quick. Cool little announcement here. This is crazy. Uh, I don't think I've ever... This is the first time I'm ever making an announcement like this. And I'll never make one like this again. So, I do Magic Mondays. I stream on Monday occasionally. Usually when I have something to show you or boxes to open. I love Magic the Gathering. It's a hobby that I like. But I've agreed to keep it away, for the most part. Firefighter Wubby. Hey, big guy. Did you ever figure out where the fire in the trash cans came from? Firefighter Wubby. Can I have that account, please? <laughs> Thank you for the five, dude. Strawboom! How are you? Thank you from a, for the five. So, um, uh, I do magic on Mondays to keep it out of my regularly scheduled content. And you know what? People like it and it's a lot of fun and I have fun doing it with you. However, for years now we've been doing it and we've been opening boxes that don't have a lot of content online about them. Let me explain what I mean by that. We opened an entire Legends box and I don't think there's any footage, at least in HD, of an entire Legends box being open. We opened a Portal 3 Kingdoms box. There's no footage of that online. So I decided to make a new channel for my magic content. And with that channel, I thought, hey, why don't we also do some fun stuff and command if people watch the channel, uh, Commander will we'll maybe film Commander games. And it's a channel that's goal is not to make money. It's not to get big. It's not to become another source of income. The channel, in my mind, simply was to exist as an archive for things magic. If people go, what do you do magic? Where can I point them to? Because right now, if someone says, what do you like magic? I go, yeah, you have to catch it on Monday. And if you don't, in three weeks, the VOD's gone. And then you really have to search through archive channels. And it's very weird. So if my mods can pin this, I sneakily and silently launched the channel this afternoon at five. This channel, some, I don't, okay, this is crazy. I don't even know how. 
17 of you found the channel. I have not talked about it. I have not mentioned it. I have not promoted it. I have not tweeted about it. I have done nothing. There are 17 subs already. My video was went live at five. And when I hit live, it had two views, me and the editor. No one has found this shit yet. This is very secret, right? So for those who want to follow the magic journey, head on over to YouTube. And look up Wubby Magic Monday. I will link it in chat. If we could please pin it in chat. And we shall be oh, we will be uploading uh, YouTube uh, uh, unboxings that will be filmed live on Magic Monday and edited down and uploaded. I'm hoping to have between lo, between two and five uploads a month at full capacity. I'd like one to two videos a week, but we're not there yet. We have a backlog and yada yada. I've linked it in chat. Um, yes, you did get Dewey. Yes, you did get Dewey. But there is the uh, Legends box, and I was watching it today, and I gotta be honest with you, uh, 1K subs already? That's crazy. Will Commander videos be uploaded? As people, uh, as... It, it's actually crazy. I haven't launched... I was saying this today. I haven't launched a channel, like, from zero. And I was looking at the channel today with the editor, and I was like, bro, there's like... It's me and you right now. Like, it's me and you who have seen this video, and I hit go live, and nobody else saw it. There was no other views. Nobody had seen it. And I was looking at it, I'm like, I'm like, bro, we have a, this is a blank channel. Like, th this is, when is the actual video game coming out? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. Um, celebrate the channel launch. Well, I'm celebrating it by everybody. I encourage you, okay? You don't have to uh, go, I, I want you to go watch it. Just go enjoy the fucking video. It's a, it's a, I watched it all. We have a second edit that's already done and it should be up uh, in less than a week. And then we have, hopefully this Monday, we're going to film another video and that should come out after. And then we're going to go and do the Portal 3 Kingdoms box and already 2.7K subs. Let's fucking go. Change the name to uh, Pay Mana Wubby. That's kind of fun. But I like, here's the thing. I like that you can just say Wubby Magic Monday and you're talking about everything. Uh, who edited it? It's in the description. Uh, if you ever do a viewer commander game, I have a special deck ready to go. So that's the goal. If I, I make this channel as an archive. This channel is an archive for magic. I can point to... Face reveal went on the Magic Monday channel. Ah, uh, we'll see. Um, if people... If I'm finding people are watching those uploads, if I'm finding people are talking in the comments if i'm finding we're getting subscribers and people are enjoying it commanders will happen i'll fly people out that are fans of the channel we'll do commander games with them it'll be a whole thing but until then right now while the channel is establishing itself uh i need to see if people even care i do think it is cool i believe unless i'm mistaken we are one of the if not the only full legends box opened online in hd and not some fucking sniffy, gross boomer idiot. I mean, it's crazy. So anyway, go check it out. Spread the love. Share it to someone. I mean, this channel will serve as a pillar to... I want to open every fucking box, and I want it to be documented with good... Hey, what By we, the way, it easy to get into magic? it's funny. I know people who play it, but I've never played it before. It sounds super fun. Um, Yeah, it's really easy. Download Arena, and it'll teach you easily. Gross is debatable. Channel name. Pay... Money, Wubby, Firefighter is the name. You can search it up on YouTube right now. No, just type in uh, Wubby Magic Monday. But like, I mean, you know what to do. Have fun with it, guys. We're going to be promoting it on the Highlight Channel too. But I just, listen, it's so simple. You know, here's me pulling the tabernacle. Actually, no. You need to watch the video to find it. It's that simple. All right. Are you adding videos retroactively? Yes. We're going to add the old videos, old streams, yada, yada. Okay. If you're having a hard if you're having a hard time finding it, click on the link right now that's pinned in chat. Um is stream ending? Not yet. I don't have the craziest stream tonight, guys. I'm actually after after this, I'm going to Yo dog, uh, is this channel where can can check the firefighter vlogs? <laughs> okay, I'll see you in 54 minutes. It's a good video though. I I, I hate to say this. I hate to kind of cannibalize myself here a little bit but i'm gonna so no more magic money wrong it's always gonna be filmed live update the sub goal it's bothering me I thank will, you baby. i, I love you say it back i got you i love you too um i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of shit on myself here a little bit and then we're gonna talk drama um 
I think this is the best way to watch Magic Monday with Wubby. The edit is just, in my opinion, it's fun being there live. It's fun being there live, and you can't beat live if you like live. But I was watching it, and I'm like, dude, I made a channel that I have been looking for. This is going to sound really gay. Can I be gay for a second? I made a channel that is what I've been wanting. Max Mofo's Pokemon channel, I really like. It's like funny card openings. But the problem is, I don't really like Pokemon, right? Glad you got the magic My channel magic channel question, is my goal of it. no outro on it? Because it's or, our first video. Are we just spoiled by the highlight channel? It's our it's our first video. We we got to get into that. You got to have a backlog before you can start doing that. Um, he also never uploads. True, but like I don't know. I'm just happy. I'm excited. I want it to exist for you guys to have fun. Put it on on your second monitor when you're questing in WoW, or maybe you're at work and you just want to listen. It's a good time. Good night, Webby. Can't hang out tonight. That's fine, man. I, dude, I hear you. I'm busy today. It's fuck. It's the day after Thanksgiving. We all got shit going on. I don't blame you. Hey, bro, uh, you asked for one second. Sorry, Kyle Marks, thank you for the five. Minutes. Appreciate you. And Aletha, intern, thank you. Us. All right. Thanks for um, all the laughs. It legit will not pull up. Click the link. Just click the link here. Click the link. It's click the fucking... I see a lot of you using code Wubby. I appreciate you. I see you popping up. Thank you, boss. Um, uh, but there's no way you can get in contact with your local fire department and see if you can do an IRL stream where you learn about putting out fires. Yo, chat, would you want to see that? Would you want to see Wubby Firefighter? Yo, oh my God. I think we could. Okay. I learned about this today. I'd via... love to play my Not to Throw Out in Paris deck with you guys. Is Wubby Experiences back? No, but I could just do that. Um, I learned about this today and I'm actually curious to know what you guys think because i am seeing split and i found it fascinating maybe i found it fascinating because i watched a video about it and you i mean maybe i got gaslit into finding this interesting but i could do that to you guys too please teach me about that. magic i want to learn also i heard dr lupo say he recently got back into it and spent dollar 12k on cards in the last two weeks oh, holy Shit's crazy 12K? bro fr fr maybe what is he on the fucking poor dr lupo what are you fucking broke, dude? Jesus Christ. This Monday, by the way, I'm just going to tease this real quick, is a very special Magic Monday. This Monday, I'm going to be showing you guys a card I got in my collection. for odd jobs. And I, and I believe the entire Magic Monday is going to be me showing you this card. And I believe that one card we are going to make a video about. I purchased the most rare card in my possession and it is it is hilarious it is incredible it is the most amazing card i've ever owned it is not a black lotus it is and and i will be showing it to you guys on monday it is the only card in existence it is a magic card is the only one like this in existence and it is the most amazing card ever and i will show you guys on monday we'll do a whole stream about it and maybe we'll open a box or two just for fun okay all right finger blast my grandma let's move on so i i got recommended uh a a a drama thing about this comedian that i want to talk to you guys about and i got into it i was like man i find this fascinating because i couldn't i didn't get it um but i want to know what you guys think so first off if for those wondering the the um um the YouTuber's name was uh, Turkey Tom, but it was his secondary channel called Tom something. I don't know. Fluffy Bunny, thank you for the five. So that's where I got this story from. And I I found it fascinating. Matt Reif. Riffy? Tom Dark. Matt Reif? Riffy? Okay, this guy. I want to, listen, I'm, I don't know if you guys will agree with me. But I have opinions. But I'm going to get you guys to... I want to know yours. You don't have to agree with me. He is a comedian that blew up on TikTok. He has like 19 million followers on TikTok. He blew up very quickly overnight. And I'm going to show you a photo of him. And first, we're going to start out with a question, a poll. Is he hot? And I think the answer is yes. This is him. This is the comedian, Matt Reif. Uh, he's so ugly. Chelsea, you're playing. You're playing. I'm coming, Giga Chad. Yes, he's hot. You know what I think he is? He is just like that Asian dude was hot. He's like, this guy is traditionally handsome, model-esque, symmetrical, chiseled, right? I don't think he's everyone's type, but he's definitely conventionally attractive, right? 
he blew up on TikTok for his stand-up. He had stand-up where he did a lot of crowd work. And one thing that kind of kept coming up and kept making it go viral was he had a lot of MILFs in his audience and he had a lot of thirsty women watching him that he would play off of. And, and it was a whole thing, right? He's unique hot. Fair. Sure. Fair. Uh, he's not attractive, but I'm soaked. What? Um, okay. So he only does crowd work. I don't care for a stand. All right. Fine. I, I'll be honest with you. I had only ever seen a couple TikToks from him, and I never thought twice. I don't hate the guy. I don't love the guy. I have no opinions on him. He looks like he's wearing a human skin mask. <laughs> so he recently had his career take off. I mean, the man went nuclear in terms of success overnight, it seems, right? And the story is he got a Netflix special just a couple days ago, and it was trending on Netflix. It was huge. It was everywhere. And then as of two days ago, he went viral on TikTok, but he got hate. He is getting absolutely shit on by his fan base. And I hate to say it. I'm not trying to make this a sexist thing, but it is happening by a lot of ladies. The ladies and the more uh, uh, progressive homies are shitting on his stand up because of his opening joke. Now, I'm going to play it for you and we're going to talk about it. And I want to know what you guys think. So I tried to watch this whole thing. And I'm going to be clear. Uh, I couldn't finish it. I'm not, I just, I'm not, I don't know. Stand-up comedy is hit or miss for me. Even people I find funny. Uh, even people I find funny. I can't usually watch their stand-up. Not always. I don't know. Uh, but his opening joke, he comes out, works the crowd a little bit. Ha, huh, yada, yada, yada. And then he goes into a joke about Baltimore. And I'm going to play it. This joke is currently... Well, people are trying to get him canceled with this. All right, you ready? Here. I'm turning up. Okay, we're on Netflix. Don't tell. Don't report me. Okay. I've only been to Baltimore one time. I ate lunch there, and the hostess who, like, seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. <laughs> a full black eye. And it wasn't like, what happened? Yeah, it was pretty obvious what happened. And we couldn't get over the fact that we are like, this is the face of the company? Like, this is... This is where you have greeting people? And my boy who I was with was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should you know, put her in the kitchen or something where nobody, <laughs> where nobody has to see her face, you know? And I was like, yeah, but I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. So that was the joke that's, that's getting him canceled, essentially. That has turned... That went extremely viral on TikTok. Millions and millions of views of people saying... Domestic violence is not funny. Why would you do this to your audience of women? How could you joke about something like this? It's, I mean, he is getting torn to fucking shreds. I will point out, a lot of people, a lot of the criticism of him are not pointing this out, but immediately after, he acknowledges the joke by saying... So, <laughs> just testing the water, seeing if y'all are gonna be fun or not. Okay, so I'm, listen, I'm, okay, so I'm not a... I will say this. I think the biggest crime, now I'm going to give my opinion here. This is now where I go from a new, telling you the news to telling you my opinion. Okay. Here's, 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 okay. My opinion is this. I think his biggest crime this guy committed was being not that funny, but like, who cares then? Who the fuck cares? And I'm not saying that as in this isn't a story. It's a story. People cared. A lot of motherfuckers cared a lot. But for me, it's like, It's a comedy show. And that was mild. I think, and this is kind of the larger point I wanted to make about this and why I found it so interesting, is that I think, oh, what'd you say? But did you see his apology? We're gonna get to that. I think what happened to this guy is something that I work hard to make sure doesn't happen to me. I think this guy finds this stuff funny. He finds offensive humor funny. And he started to blow up on little clips from his comedy. The clips he blew up on weren't as offensive. It was him working his crowd. And then over time, he started building an audience of people who, let's be honest, liked the way he looked, liked that he kind of flirted with ladies in the audience, and he started to gain popularity like that. And then he gets the biggest stage he's ever gotten in his life. And all of these divorced, overweight moms are like, what's he going to say? And he opens with a joke because he's a comedian and it's a little offensive. It's a little like, ah, domestic violence. And they are shocked that their brave lover boy that they've fallen for so heavily could make 
so how could the man who I'm in love with make that? Wubby, you're wrong. I'm just giving you my opinion. Okay, calm down. You're literally, you're losing your mind. Calm down. All right, this is my opinion. I made that so clear at the start of this. So the point I'm making is that I think that this is why I try to nip this shit in the bud like on my stream all the time. I say this like all the time. I'm like, every once in a while, we almost have to drain new viewers because I don't want people discovering my old content and then going, <gasps> but Wubby, you're this woke king now. And no, nope. Nope, I stand by my old content. I think I was funny then at the time. I think I'm funny now, okay? I don't want any of you who might be like, listen, I'm getting a lot of loving, amazing, furry, trans viewers, okay? We love it, right? But please just know, I liked to make fun of you back then. I like to make fun of you now. I like to make fun of... Middle Eastern people back then. I like to make fun of my dad now. I like to make fun of all different kinds of things back then. I like to make fun of them now. I don't want you to come into my stream at a time where there hasn't been this kind of joke or that kind of joke in a while. And then when it happens, you're like, <gasps> he put he, what? And we see that happen, right? And I feel like this guy, and this is just my opinion, is a pretty big example of like reality check. He's a comedian and he made a joke that was a little bit offensive and you weren't ready for it. You weren't ready for it. Brown people. Okay, so <laughs> then he started getting shit on TikTok. And I mean, my boy was getting cookie, cookie, cookied alive. So you know what he did? And this, this really pissed off the world. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I never found him funny, but this made me laugh. And I think this offended people, but this kind of made me laugh. What he did next. It's a, hold on, I wonder what you said. Is that he's telling open mic jokes in a theater. Offensive, but also mid. It was funny. If it was funny, maybe it would be forgivable. I couldn't disagree with you more. Watch, I'll give you, I'll give you the better take there. It's not funny, so who cares? So that means anyone getting mad about it, just move on. It's, it's, it, but to act, I'm drawing the line at, yeah, it's not funny. It wasn't very funny. It was okay. It was okay. Actually, I'm not going to be hypercritical because I am also a firm believer of if you hyperanalyze any set, any line in a stand-up com comedian's bit, once you get to a point where you start dissecting it, nothing's funny. So I will say this. It was fine. It was meh. Who cares then? Bro, who gives a fuck that it was meh? I don't care. Guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to watch the rest of his special. But I'm also not going to take to Twitter and get millions of views or millions of views on TikTok and be like, he deserves, th how could he do this to him? How could he say this about women? There are so many domestic abuse survivors in that audience. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck. What are you fucking talking about? It's a stand-up comedy special. Shut the fuck up. What do you mean? I want to shake these fucking idiots. You're so stupid. It's comedy. Comedy, the, it like... Legitimately, we know his intent. We know what the joke is. You can follow the line of where the joke's supposed to be. It's not just random N-word on stage, right? It's not some random, I'm gonna scream the N-word, that's the joke. No, it's comedy. If it didn't land, move on. You don't like him anymore. Wow, that's it. domestic abuse and misogyny, aha, so funny. What a hack. Oh my God. Oh, you see, what you just did there is so dangerous because you can basically apply that to anything, right? The whole point of comedy is you're laughing at things that you wouldn't, it's supposed to surprise you. It's supposed to shock you. Bro, this stream is not for you. This stream is not for you. You could, you could literally, this is what I mean by if you boil down any joke, any joke, you can make it sound like it's not okay to say, oh, ha ha, yeah, oh, di differences in, in, in culture, real funny, Wubby. Bro, we can boil down any pillar of comedy, anything, to, to oh, look, real funny to joke about this stuff. What do, what do you find funny, bro? Oh my God, what do you find funny? Comedy is an art form and art should be unrestrained. It's crazy too, because this is not even a, I don't think this is a genre pushing joke. It was just kind of mid. It wasn't funny. It wasn't edgy. I, dude, that's the real hot take here that y'all aren't ready for. I don't even find it edgy. I didn't even find it edgy at all. I think that's the worst part of it is I found that shit like, it was like, oh, okay, what's next? Like, okay. It was like actually not edgy. <laughs> I don't know. Hack is a term used that's only ever used by comedians mad that someone is doing better than them. Real. Uh, all right. So then he put out an apology and he said, hey, 
because he realized all the ladies were getting, you know, they weren't having a good time. Not edgy, but not funny. But that's fair. You're allowed to say it's not funny. But what you're not allowed to do is go like, <gasps> he betrayed the women and abuse victims everywhere. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Oh, my God. He said, if you ever been offended by a joke, I've told, here's a link to my official apology. And he linked them to special needs helmets. Now, okay. See, I... Maybe I'm a bad person and I can live with that. This made me laugh out loud. This legitimately made me, this is the funniest thing I've ever heard this guy say. This made me chuckle. This made me blow air out my nose. And I went, he is, this tweet, I'm sorry, this, this, this is on a story. This Instagram story, in my opinion, was his way of going, hey, guess what? If you're offended, this isn't for you. And I gotta be real. That's been like, my whole thing for years at this point. I, I'm not saying I invented. I'm saying I could not agree with this more. Oh, you, my comedy offended you. Well, you don't have to watch. I, I'm sorry, but that was, this, this is such a... I, 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 listen, I know there are people in my chat not talking right now thinking that this is the most offensive shit in the world. I hear you. Then don't watch his stand-up comedy. Some it's comedians common. say it was a good way to weed out the audience. He doesn't like that ones that are I, there. I, I think that's just what to happened. Try and suck his cock. Zip, love you, son. I, I actually do People think. People in chat that get upset by that joke. Oh man! Wait till they hear about this ginger twitch streamer who makes jokes about retarded people and this one chromy homie baby doll. <laughs> Did you just call Debbie a chromey homie? Why is Matt Rife trying to cancel himself? Wait, what is this? You, you said look it up. What is this? It's a 10 minute video. Well, before I do that, I again, this is from the, the Turkey Tom thing I wanted to show you. This girl, uh, 640,000 likes. This video has how many millions of views? It's hard to tell on TikTok. I don't know. You can assume millions, right? This, this Here's a good example of, of the outrage. A man cool. can't do make a joke about domestic abuse. But people defend Skylar White mentally abusing Walter by making <laughs> what him is, feel dude? like he can't follow what? his dreams. Okay, you're having a real pyrocynical moment here, bro. Priorities. Not everything is Breaking Bad Dark Souls cringe, okay, guy? Listen, you gotta chill out, bro. Not, you don't have to tie everything back to Dark Souls 3, okay? Relax. Relax. All right, here we go. Listen to this. This, this TikTok just, it, it drove me crazy. I'm getting triggered. I'm a baby, all right? I'll admit it. I'm sorry. Did you see Matt Reif's Instagram story? I'm never one to like throw my hat in the ring to like. Don't start now. Don't start now. Talk about celebrities in this way, but oh my God. I know there's a lot of buzz around his Netflix special. I haven't watched it yet. I Dude, that right there is also like, that kind of shit drives me wild. Well, you know, I haven't seen this thing that I'm talking about. And, okay, watch. She's, she's, make she's jokes and make them in, not in a 48, really good punchline. in a 48 second video, we are 14 seconds in and she's completely discredited herself in every way. So I don't normally talk on subjects like this and I didn't watch the subject matter for what we're talking about. I, so if you're asking me, I watched like 20 ish minutes to get a vibe of the stand up. He, everything was all kind of just, it was fine. It wasn't very funny. I mean, I don't really care, so I stopped, right? But that's crazy. That's crazy to be 14 seconds into this and just like, I didn't do anything. I didn't look up anything. But now here's my opinion that's going to go very viral. What? 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 Hold on. Um, I used to get offended with a lot of stuff. But then I joined the army and, 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 and married a Marine. I know, find that shit so funny. Fair. Hey, good for you. I was going to. But apparently there are a few jokes in there that people are getting offended by or upset about. And in response, he posted this. If you've ever been offended by a joke I've told, here's a link to my official apology. And the link is to special needs helmets. I'm not making this up. This is still on his story. Clutching her pearls. If he was upset that people were offended by his jokes. He could have just not said something. Okay, this is an interesting point. I'm going to... I'm gonna... Turkey Tom said this. I'm gonna say this too. Where are you getting that he's upset from it? Like you, this is this. You are. I'm sorry. To to draw from this that he may have been upset, so he made the worst move. You've clearly misunderstood the entire intent of that of that Instagram story. He is clearly saying, "I'm not upset. I do not care. Leave my audience if you don't find this funny, because this audience is not for you." Like, like, this is such a bad, and it, well, you're digging deep, bro. This has millions of views. This has this right here. This TikTok has millions of views and almost 700,000 likes. Ended by his jokes. He could have just not said something. 
I feel like celebrities and comedians always make it worse when they try to double down or make a joke about people's offense. And, like, the special needs thing, like, come on. <sighs> I, I, I think he's, I think he has painted himself into a corner maybe by how he went viral on TikTok with it being a lot to do with his looks and his crowd work. And he doesn't want that for his comedy. Like, listen, I don't even like that I'm defending this guy because I don't necessarily think he's that funny. But God, comedians are allowed to be not funny. In fact, they're either funny or they're not. You the worst thing you can do when you make an offensive joke is double downs. I, d <laughs> I don't agree. I think the thing is, is that we should fight for the right for comedians to get out there and flop and make jokes that don't work. Have and we shouldn't go and we shouldn't go, hey, that joke hurt my feelings. OK, uh, and and as a result, you should not have a microphone anymore. That's different. If you want to say, bro, you are so unfunny. You need to get off the stage until you're funnier. I'm OK with that. That's great. That's awesome. Do that. Hey, guess what? I would not go see this guy's show. I did not think he was funny. I don't think he's that funny. But he's not so unfunny that I'm going to pretend like what he said wasn't a joke. Do you get what I'm saying? There's a difference. And I feel like it is nuanced and it can't be on paper. It's harder to find where that line is. But I think when we know, we can easily point to that line when someone's way over it. He is a comedian. He is making jokes. He's not going on stage and just screaming the N-word into a mic for 45 minutes and then walking off. Although that would be... I wonder, what does that say about society? I don't know. Who cares? The point I'm making is, you know, he, huge raid. Okay, I, I bet you, like, a, a two-person raid just happened. I'm not even going to look. I can't even see it. Um, Netflix comedy specials are 50-50. Dude, I agree. I agree. Kramer did that. Have y'all seen Kramer say the N-word? That shit is crazy, bro. The part of your argument that's shaky is transphobic comics uh, forgetting his name the part hold on i want to understand what you're saying here i'm not just trying to shit on you the part of your argument that's shaky is the transphobic comics forgetting his name what does that mean what does that last part mean i don't understand what that means i don't understand what that means these peoples would have had heart attacks if they heard norm mcdonald stand up zip he's talking about dave Chappelle. but okay what is he saying i don't understand what he's saying Dude, you're being funny right now. Please continue. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't I don't know what that meant. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Okay, this is that video that guy in chat just told me to watch. I'm going to give this like a minute. All right, so it looks like some people are upset with Matt Reif for a joke he made in his new comedy special. So they're trying to cancel him for being sexist. But I think this backlash that Matt's getting is probably what he's hoping for because he opened the special. I think so joke. too. And, I think so too. Know, his audience is like 95% women, and he's also popular with the TikTok crowd. Also, I got to give a shout. I got to defend women here a little bit. Uh, ladies, I don't think you want to be classified as, oh, no, no, no. Do not make jokes about that. I know women watch this stream, and I know they would be offended that all women are getting put into this camp of, we can't, no, you can't make domestic violence jokes. You can't make jokes at a comedy. Like, I'm sorry, but ladies like comedy too. This isn't a this is a bad look for everyone. Cutting off dicks, but this isn't like, okay. Oh no! I, I'm not. But come on, I'm not saying that you have to like every type of joke, but I'm saying this story is unfortunately getting more and more sexist, and it's like, oh yeah, la the ladies are canceling for making a domestic violence joke. It's like maybe those ladies are, but I know for a fact there are women who love raunchy awful comedy the autism thing made me laugh but i just don't like him that's fine you're allowed to say that so he had to know something like this was gonna happen only been to baltimore one time i ate lunch there and the host yeah we like heard it i already laughed. did this on my stream we <laughs> heard it it wasn't like what happened it was pretty obvious what happened we couldn't get over the fact that we we're like this is the face of the company like this is this is what you have we you. heard it was with was like yeah i feel bad for her man i feel like they should you know, put her in the kitchen or something nobody the ironic thing see her also face, is you know? the girl like, yeah, in that tiktok like telling him that if he was upset he should have just stayed quiet Oh my God, that is your, oh my God, I didn't even think of that. It's like, girl, take your own advice. Oh my God, bro, you're so right. You know what it is, is that people don't want to see people be successful when they're mad at them. And that's where you have to look N-word, you know? You have to look N-word when, 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 um, if you, it's, 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 people don't want to see the people they dislike having success, you know? You don't. So look 
why is everyone phrasing? What phrasing? Look N-word. Like, look inside. And, and that, you know... You know? you know, I never really liked Matt Rife. I never thought he was funny, but I feel like that joke isn't that bad. Maybe it's just because I'm a misogynist and my hatred towards women outweighs my hatred towards Matt Rife. No, but even though the joke was real, bad, still gonna be backlash from it. Anybody could have told you that. So I think Matt definitely saw this coming. And like I said, I think he's trying to ruffle some feathers with this because first of all, canceling a comedian for a joke never really does anything. You know, if these people really want to get it. It just gives them popularity. Yeah. Them, I will say he is in a unique position where he could actually get hit with this because a lot of his audience is women. I think he built. He's having a dream moment right now. It's like, bro, you built your audience on the backs of children. I'm gonna reword this. He's having. Oh. Never mind. Because most of the time when they do try to cancel him, it only helps. Like at this point, if a comedian makes an offensive joke where you can tell they're trying to offend some people and they don't get canceled, that's way more embarrassing. So if Matt didn't get back by special, he definitely would have been disappointed. Like you could tell this is the reaction he wanted, especially because he doubled down and he posted this fake apology that of course upset people even more. But on the other hand, okay. a lot of people thought this was hilarious, and I'm sure he gained some new fans from this. And even if he lost more fans than he gained, I'm sure he's happy with that because he didn't want those fans to begin with. Like I think that's mostly what he's doing here. Just trying to figure out fans. <gasps> oh my god, I saw a clip. That I, oh my god, dude. I was watching a Ludwig, the Ludwig react. I don't even know if I want to talk about this. I mean, we are in kind of, listen, are we are we late enough in the stream where I can just be chill? <laughs> anyway, that's it. I, I, there's no more to this story. That's it. I agree. I Listen, hey, listen. Ladies, I hear you. I don't think Matt Reif is that funny. I wouldn't go to his show. If the tickets were free, I would sell them to someone else. Okay? All right? You hear me? That being said, just hey guys, I'm gonna give you the best advice for the rest of your life. If there's a content creator, if there's a comedian, if there's a movie star, and you don't like, if you don't like their comedy, if you don't like their stream, if you don't like their YouTube, I'm gonna teach you this one simple trick, okay? Stop watching. You don't have to go to TikTok. You don't have to make a tweet. You don't have to tell anyone you can just stop watching. Hate watchers hate this one simple trick. You can do You can. You can, but not in this stream. You have to watch this stream. If you hate me, you're stuck. Sorry. Matt looks like he's ready to protect Smallville. <laughs> okay, real. Um, hold on. Let me let me hold on. Ludwig Pokimane drama. Bro, I, I, okay. Was it? Ugh. It may have been, um. Also, oh, 15 minute video. Was it? I don't, I, cause I watched, I watched, um. Okay, you guys know the Pokemane thing? I had a revelation about Pokemane. And, and, and then I think I got kind of radicalized about it. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm wondering what you guys, I wanna, ugh, I don't know if I should even share it though. Please God, no more. Let, you don't even know what I'm talking about! I had a, I had a, maybe I shouldn't share, share it. I had a, I had this like, what seems so obvious to me. Um, I, I had a revelation and I think destiny radicalized me. <laughs> Can I say it? Okay, so in Ludwig, I need to find this moment here. Ludwig made a video def essentially defending Pokimane or maybe trying to explain the situation about Pokimane um, and about the hate she gets. And uh, Ludwig drew a, a, a parallel to, uh, he did a, what is it called? Where they do the uh, uh, Ludwig, the search terms. What's it called? What's that? What's that? Wired? No, uncut. Wired, wired. Okay, okay, okay. So, hold on, I'm gonna show you this. So I, he talked about this, and then I watched uh, a Destiny video about it, and I was like, I feel like that put it into words, something I didn't realize for a very long time. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Pokey gives uh, me Gone Girl vibes. I'm cut. Why are you guys telling me if you, Obama is dead? Okay. <laughs> All right, let me, let me, let me. Now... Maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Is anyone chat cut, by the way? Is anyone chat cut? Can we get some ones in chat if you're cut? Bro, that is straight up like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cutting baby, I'm gonna cut my baby's penis forever, bro. I'm, I'm not letting that thing walking around with like a sock on his dick. Straight up. You know what I mean? Cutting what? All right, so, Pokimane, Ludwig presented uh, that Pokimane gets hate on her videos 
and and less views and more negative interaction and ludwig presented an argument for it and um you know gender yada yada i don't think ludwig is wrong in general but there is a take that i don't think he is either thought of or maybe you know it's kind of a <laughs> It's a ballsy take for someone in Ludwig's position, and I'm going to give it to you now. If you bury a Confederate flag in the ground, that a Cracker Barrel will grow. Okay, I muted. So here is Ludwig's uh, uh, wired video he did, okay, where he's answering the search ter uh, terms. 166,000 likes, only 1.6K dislikes, and here is Pokemanes. It's bad. I mean, this came out, what, two months ago? nowhere near the amount of views way more dislikes i mean she got she got dumpstered on right and so you can i just burst out laughing listen i'm not here to shit on her but i'm gonna point something out that i was like damn damn this is wubby take time it, it, listen i know this ugh. i'm gonna get two responses in the chat wubby this is a cold take nobody cares we already knew this and uh uh uh, then I'm going to, or I'm going to get put into a, uh, Pokemon hate camp. I'm, I'm neither of those, man. I just, I thought this was interesting. Okay. So why is Pokemon getting this hate? Is it because she has haters that follow her that are awful? Yeah. Yeah. Is it partly because also people are more critical of women on the internet? Yes. But here it is. Here is the thing. And I want, I'm going to play just a minute of this. And I feel like if you're an intelligent person, which I feel like generally my audience can be has the potential to be i feel like you're going to pick up on it instantly okay i'm going to play this just watch now a lot of you don't watch pokey i personally have not seen a lot of her content so this hit me like a ton of bricks watch hi i'm pokey and this is the wired autocomplete interview and i'm really nervous i don't know what people have been googling and i'm about to find out what pokey what is Pokey? Um, sometimes I don't even know. I'm a content creator, streamer, gamer, vlogger. I kind of do a little bit of everything. I am me, she, her, yeah. <laughs> so actually the reason this is my name is because obviously gaming, I play a lot of Pokemon and my name is Iman. Okay. So it's supposed to be a play on words. That's why it's actually supposed to be pronounced Pokemon, okay. but I understand in English this just reads as Pokemon. And that's why I fucking hate her. No, I'm kidding. Let's keep on. So I'm never mad at people when they pronounce it that way. I'm like, call me whatever you want, as long as it's nice. <laughs> what made Pokemon famous? Streaming. <laughs> For sure, 100% streaming. I've been streaming since I was 17. It's been like nine years. I started doing it as a hobby in high school, and then it became my full-time job. And Give it a minute, Chad, I started relax. making content on all platforms, and that's how people know me, I guess. What is Pokemon's Valorant rank? My peak was... Okay, so we're, we're about a minute in, and I'm, I'm feeling it already, and I want to know if you are. I'm... I think I have a problem with her because she's not sitting on a cake farting. Immortal, but that was about a year and a half ago. Right now I'm like diamond. Actually, it's a new season, so I'm not even ranked yet. But last season I was diamond. What is yeah, he means on. nationality? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, okay, I'll say it, and if you can tell me if I'm if I'm, if I'm you know if I'm in too deep, I want to know if you guys agree. Her, her, and again, I told you, I watched Ludwig's video and then I watched Destiny's video and I feel like maybe he blackpilled me on this and maybe that's not okay. But the reality is she just comes off as just not authentic. And I think that the audience can see through it. I'm not saying Pokemon is a bad person. I'm not saying she's a mean person. I'm not saying she's an evil person. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve her platform. I'm not saying uh, anything. I'm saying after watching this, I can't unsee something that feels very not genuine. So don't watch it. I am not watching. I'm exp so okay. I don't watch Pokemon. And what you're doing, trying to do right now, is you're trying to paint me into a hate watcher, which I'm not. I'm not. What I'm doing by bringing this up is that I find it fascinating that Ludwig puts out a video going, you know, she's getting all this hate because she's a woman, because of this that. But I really think there is a glaring thing that that's happening here that other YouTubers who are maybe friends with Pokey or colleagues or work with her, they don't want to address. I, I think her image that she puts out. It's very corporate and very fake feeling. To me, it doesn't feel authentic. Now, 
You're going to try to act like I'm a hate watcher, but I don't hate watch Pokimane. I don't talk about Pokimane. I don't go to a Reddit thread and shit on her. I'm not mean. I don't care. She's not on my radar. This popped up because she was recently in a large drama. And I find it interesting because other people like Ludwig make a whole video and I feel like they're ignoring the elephant in the room, which is like, I, it just feels so manufactured. It just does. It kind of does to me. I know it's odd. It's, it's a weird thing to say. And I wonder how she feels about it. it it's, it's, I don't know. It's interesting. It's, I literally caught it okay. after like, I don't get that feeling, but I understand you. Okay, that's fair. See, that was so weak. I'll do the next one harder. <laughs> See, I, May, again, I don't, I just feel like, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's, it's, it comes off as very PR to me. You know, it's very tee hee, ho ho. And, and I think, I honestly think that uh, in itself is a, is a significant contributor to the, and I'll be honest, weird hate she gets online. Am I, is that wrong for me to say? Am I a hater because I'm saying that? I feel, I, I can be that honest about myself. Like, yeah, I, I get, I do things too that definitely encourage certain hate, but like Pokemon is, is weirdly despised online. I think some of it can be attributed to, yeah, she has a very strange character she plays that comes off as manufactured. Her video has the vibe. Okay. I'm not going to read mean comments. Um, it's like interviews with billionaires. It just feels so robotic. I think it's a fair take. I think so too. I don't think I'm being even mean to her. She's a queen of Twitch, so who cares? You're right, who cares about anything, dude? Who cares about anything? When she's explaining her name, it sounds like she's talking down to us. I wouldn't go that far. Um, but it does It does feel like a, like, it, it's odd. It's odd to me. Uh, she's Ryan Seacrest? Nah, but he's, I, God, the things I would do to him. All right, we can move on from it. I just wanted to bring that up. I thought it was, it was so fascinating to me because I never thought of that. And once it was brought to my attention, I was like, oh my God, yes, that I have not, put that in like yes that's what it is that's what feels so strange to me um i think it's a fair take i think you got to understand why she uses pr voice fair i'm not saying she shouldn't i'm saying see what i think what's getting missed here is the context in which i'm talking here i'm responding to ludwig's video so if you need to understand why i'm bringing attention to it it's because ludwig tried to unpack the reasons why she might be getting shit right and i think that when you're opening that conversation up and when I'm responding to Ludwig, I could say, hey, this also might be contributing to it. You know? Um, she doesn't feel any faker to me than someone like Charlie Ludwig. I don't think Charlie, I'll be honest, I don't think Charlie comes off like that at all. Like, you could say Charlie is cringe for whatever reason you want, but I don't think Charlie comes off as corporate PR cringe. Really? You think so? I don't think so. We can disagree. There's uh, plenty of male content creators I feel the same way about. Oh my God, this isn't a female issue at all. This is a male issue, bro. Are you kidding me? I mean, we, we can we can talk about, yeah, it's weird. It's off-putting. I don't think Charlie's a good example. I think Ludwig does toe that line a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes. I'll be real. Ludwig, or uh, Charlie's cringe because he's short. Yep. I don't think they play too close. The boundaries are safe. What? Teeth Boy? Mr. Beast? Yeah. Um, give me, give me, an, give me one, give me one. I'll tell you if I agree, and then we'll move on. Mark Rober. I, I don't know. He feels more authentic. I don't know. Dream. The entirety of the Minecraft. Oh my God, Matt Pat. Oh my God, Matt Pat drives me crazy. Matt Pat's a great example. Oh my God, Matt Pat. Done. Pay money, firefighter. <laughs> yep. Um. Quebble cop, yep, yep. But see, I think we all just, I think they're kind of, they're kind of unspoken. Wubby, female who defended Matt Pat, or I'm sorry, Matt Rife here. A lot of people on TikTok said I was looking for validation from Matt, which didn't make sense because I never once in my life would think that I would meet him IRL. But I believe it's easier to be on the side of domestic violence is not good. I also had a bunch of females wishing that I got domestic, oh my God. Whoa, that's crazy. Markiplier. Um, you could argue Markiplier. I think that's fair. You could argue Markiplier. MadPat is so unauthentic because he 
he is a huge third party consultant. Yeah, it's corporate. It's like a person representing a company with these bigger creators. And that's okay. And I will I'm proud of them that they're millionaires, but that does get, Ooh, Ham. Ham said Harris Heller. We're gonna let that one cook. I don't even know if people know who that is. Um Markiplier is authentic. I think I think Markiplier does come off authentic in his interviews. I think it see here's the thing, right? Here's what surprises me. I think the Pokemon criticism is is this, right? In her in front of the camera work, she comes off that way. Okay, you're running a character, that's fine. But in like interviews, you see Markiplier open up about his wealth and be like, whatever. I, I feel like it maybe that's not happening with a, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done deep research on this. Okay, I don't know. Um She's never off. It does feel that way. I've even, I, I talked to her backstage at that thing and she was pretty on then too. She, it felt like talking to Pokimane backstage at school felt like talking to a legitimate movie star. And I'm, I'm not saying that as a compliment or an insult. It was just, it was like, oh, you got it. You're on. You're, you, you got this shit. Like there, they, like if there was a camera filming us right now, you would still come out shoulders back, chin up. Smokey, thank you for the five. Maybe that's how she is. Again, you saying that implies that I'm saying there's something inherently wrong with it. I'm not. What I'm saying is that that might explain why some people have a hard time. You know what I mean? All right, moving on. We're done talking about this. We're getting too into the weeds of it now. We're done. I'm moving on. I'm going to my notepad and we're gonna talk about something else. Fair, solitary, no. No, we're not doing solitary. Weed. Let's talk weed. No. Porn. No, we're not talking about porn. I'm going to check the subreddit, though. All right, we have a choice here. Um, I'm going to go soon. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm going to do things today. Case. Case defy drama? What is that? What's case defy? Wubby, there's five cop cars posted up outside my apartment right now. Should I go say hi? Can I tell you what you should do? If there are five cop cars posted up outside your house right now, I want you to open your door and as loud, so I want you to keep one hand back here, okay? Pretend you're the cop, okay? I'm you in your house right now, and this is the cop. I want you to open your door with your hand back here so they can't see what you're doing. Just have it in your pocket. Doesn't need to be doing anything. And have your phone, okay, in that pocket. And then start screaming, ah, ah, start screaming at them as you approach them. And then they're gonna tell you to stop. Everyone's just role playing. <laughs> Everyone's just role-playing, just play back. When they say stop, it, get as loud as you can and then quickly take out your phone like this, just like that, okay? And what you're doing there is you're offering your phone to the officer in case he wants to look at it. It's, it's a bootlicker thing to do, but it's a way to keep you safe. So you're gonna, remember, here's what it is. Open your door, start screaming at the top of your lungs, walking towards them, then quickly take out your phone and hand it to him. Say, Aah! okay? And then they'll look at your phone, they'll rule you out, and they'll be on their way. It has to be quick, though. It has to be as fast as you can. Remember, they don't hide jury. Obviously, we're joking. Minus one viewer. Well, technically, the stream would still be on. <laughs> and before you do, gift a thousand subs. <laughs> it's not going to matter. Because you're going to be a hero in town. You're going to make a lot of money. So, message received. Obviously, I'm joking. Obviously. Uh, thoughts on MTG Arena. What do you people keep asking me that for? I don't even know what what about it. What about MTG Arena? Like, is it did something happen to it? Turn on auto renew. Oh my god, that's fucked up. Tuba guy. All right, bro. We'll see you later. I'll check the news. Thank you, Tuba guy. Appreciate it. Make sure you do auto renew. Thank you, brother. Doc was shit talking react streamers. Can I get a clip? Give me a clip. What did Doc say? What did Dockside Extortionist say? Is this interesting? What happened? Can we react to it? I mean, that's what I'm here to do. Being in your 30s listening to Pokemon drama. Hold on. This is going to be funny. Someone posted on the subreddit. Right Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Being in your 30s listening to Pokemon drama. Be like. Like to play Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon with the pokey and the man and the thing where the guy comes out of the thing and he likes to fall off. I, who are you in this situation? This worked better in your boomer ass head, didn't it? Who? Who is who? Who are you? Who is you in this? Are you the kid? 
Are you the, are you the rapist? Who are you? You're the kid? So you like the Pokemon talk? Bru Imagine comparing yourself to Bill Cosby. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Um, I'm I'm Oh, here I am as a firefighter. All right, so this is crazy. You guys know like AI image generation how powerful it is now. It's getting really accurate. Give me your most realistic depiction of Pay Money Wubby, Twitch streamer, aka Dennis Richardson, as a firefighter fighting a rage. Okay, look at this. See, chat, ladies, can you even handle this if this was your reality? Bitches in chat would be lighting themselves on fire just so I might come over to piss on them. Are you kidding me, bro? I better, I gotta start mewing. God damn. Can you even imagine I finished? Well, don't leave. I'm not done. I'm a straight dude. Here are two realistic depictions of anonymous, robust, ginger-haired male firefighter. Wait, wait, did you change the prompt? Anonymous, robust? I'm neither of those things. I'm neither of those. I'm waiting on this fucking thing you told me about Doc. I want to see this Doc drama. Where, Where's their Doc drama? Is it, do I have to go to LSF? Oh god, I'm- That guy me. sucks as a firefighter. He's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> Admittedly, he was. Admittedly, he definitely was. Um, where's this doc drama? Is this even real? I don't understand. No, we got nothing? Alright, I'm gonna move on then. Five, four, three. There is none. You little liars. You little snakes. Robust. First day. Post- no not november pancake batter stream when we're not doing that relax love you say it back i think they meant love dock you drama you, did you see that the brawl happened on that boat dock in georgia oh yeah of course i saw that all right <laughs> okay so yeah. i have i can i'll give you guys we'll do one i i do believe they ruined this game i think they did Seven because let it, let it go i think Take they ruined this game Robert. Check out Jerry Rig Everything's video on Caseify. Do you guys want me to do that? Do you want to watch a reaction video or do you want to play a game of Fortnite? Which is it? <laughs> you guys are saying no and I give you two options. Does that mean I just get to go offline? Um, please don't forget this Sunday is the talent show. You better be there. We're not doing, we're not doing um, Lethal Company. I'm getting off soon. Because I... I'm going to the mall because I'm going to buy some Christmas decorations. I'm not even lying. Yeah, baby. Um, does uh, I don't want to end stream yet. Let me do a fucking Phil Kid Friday. Why are you telling me to end stream, bro? Yeah, we're going to go steal a shark. Okay, so Fortnite... At least Sniper stole a personality unlike Pokey. For legal reasons, this stop, is a joke, Twitch. Stop, stop, Wubby, what if you and the boys went in the tent and pushed out some chocolate pudding while holding a harmonica in your mouth? Okay, no, no, I, no, you got me. Okay, I'll take the bait. What the fuck does that mean? I'll take the bait. What the fuck does that mean? That's a fetish? Like pooping with a harmonica in your mouth? What? New chatters don't know about Fortnite? Well, it's Phil Kid. We're going to fill some kids today. <laughs> Actual dream moment. That's crazy. I just had a dream moment. That is fucking crazy. Um, okay, so I have not played this new season of Fortnite at all. Wait, more people voted for the reaction. Oh, my God. All right, well, you guys are going to react to me playing this. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, fine. You want me to do the reaction? I'll do the reaction. What, what am I looking at here? I've been robbed. Okay, wait. This actually does have 3.5 million views in one day. I'm I'm actually interested in this. Hold on. Hold on. I'll give it. You know what I'll do? If, I, if this doesn't grab me, then we'll move on. Got something a little bit different for you today. I love this guy's videos, by the way. If you haven't seen... We're going to do both, chat. Don't worry. We're going to do both. A video I never thought I'd have to make. There's a company, a company you've all heard of, <gasps> and a company worth... Is it Mina Cookies? Probably close to a billion dollars that's stealing my stuff. And today we're going to fight back the way Uncle Sam intended with <gasps> a lawsuit. Oh. It's Case Defy. Case Defy is still in my stuff. And this... I, I, um... I know what Case Defy is, but for some of these... Yeah, this is Johnny Sins. Uh, Fortnite ball. I'm gay. I like boys. I kidnap autistic kids. Um... 
What's case defy? Super, super, what? What's case defy? Phone company case. The story of how I found out is rather fascinating. It all started back in December of 2019 when I decided to upgrade my cell phone. I went from a Galaxy Smart. S8 to a Note 10 Plus and Now, would you guys okay, would you guys insult this guy's bald head? Because I got a lot of shit, but this dude is clean. This dude has seen some pool tables in his day. No, you wouldn't insult it. Really? Little did I know that that upgrade was going to land us in court. It was that exact day when Not I launched much, the Teardown skin with my friends over at dbrand. Teardown is obviously a line of cases and skins that show the inside of your device on the outside. Okay. It's kind okay. of what I do, and dbrand and I go to extreme lengths to ensure that every Teardown skin is an accurate representation of what's actually on the inside. But that also okay. doesn't stop us from sneaking in a few Easter eggs for people to find. For example, okay. on the back of this Galaxy S23 Ultra ribbon cable, it says glass is glass and glass breaks. Definitely not something Samsung would ever put inside their device, but that right. is something I say very often, and we toss a few of these treats onto every oh my God, I'm, I'm gonna call it. Does Casetify, have they been stealing these designs and just reselling them? Oh, that's big, bro. These Easter eggs are gonna be extraordinarily important here in a second because extraordinary claims of theft require extraordinary proof. Luckily for uh... me, Casetify is more like the Home Alone thieves and less like the Ocean's Eleven thieves but I'll get to that. Keep in mind that this is a true partnership between dbrand and I. We share profits like partners and we're constantly growing the product line and figuring out which devices to support next. Since that launch in December of 19, we've supported over 100 devices with teardown skins and we'll keep Damn. going as long as you support us or until Apple stops making iPhones, whichever comes first. But let's go back. What did Casetify do to warrant all of this negativity? Well, back when Twitter was still called it. Twitter, someone tagged dbrand in a post pointing out that Casetify was selling a Samsung Galaxy S23 phone case with the internals of an iPhone. And not only that, every single product they were selling was using the exact same iPhone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. That's 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 a different layer of it. They got the phones mixed up, bro. Oh, that is the ooh, ooh, ooh. own image. The average person might not have been able to spot the error, but anyone watching my channel could have spotted the internal differences from a mile away. Dbrand being Dbrand took a Nerds. little shot at which is fine, just a little Twitter banter between companies. Dbrand and I continue along our merry way, making accurate teardown products while Casetify is dressing up Androids like iPhones. No big deal. Okay. I thought that was the end of it, but it wasn't. A few months go by and we get tagged in another tweet. I found a product like Teardown, but more expensive. Clicking a link, it takes us to a landing page for a new product line from Casetify called Inside Out. And when you click to the website, check it out. They did it. A much more accurate look at the insides. And normally I'd be very proud of Casetify for actually taking the effort to actually portray the insides. Because I'm not the only person on the planet who likes to take things apart. I don't own the idea of repairing things yourself. Or am I the only person who appreciates the beauty of internal... Okay, so first off, these look sick, by the way. I kind of like the internal look. Didn't think I would. Into it. One, two. Okay. Okay. He's right. They anyone can do it. But if they just straight up like ripped their designs, that is going to be such an unbelievable blunder. Like that is that is child's play. Oh my god. Does anybody else miss Señor's commentary? Right now is a good time I would look at Señor in chat and he'd be saying something like like an old like an old person. Señor would be saying something in chat right now that's like well, you know, the law in Alabama is the, you know, fart and midgets. And, and I'd look at him, I'd read it out loud. We miss you, senior. Come back. Make an alt. Ban evade. Love you. Hardware. If Casetify went back to the drawing board, purchased a bunch of phones, took them apart, scanned the internals to properly make a teardown skin competitor, bring on the competition. Real. If that's what they did. Spoiler alert, that is not what they did. Do you remember all those Easter eggs I told you about earlier? While we were scanning this new competition from Casetify, we noticed something interesting on their Galaxy S23 Ultra case, which... I happen to have this, right here. Oh no, he got it! <laughs> oh. The print quality is extraordinarily subpar, but I think you'll be able to notice oh, it looks like shit. right here on Casetify's case that Casetify sells on Casetify's website. Glass is glass and glass breaks. I know for sure Samsung didn't put that there, so what's my phrase that I use all the time doing on one of Casetify's products? After seeing this, we decided to investigate a little further. Check the out quality this looks so... Also, I'm, I'm noticing too the... Uh, the... the... I'm gonna say something stupid. Like the magnet charging copper plate thing on iPhones, it's way orange and blown out. And then on the real one, it looks like copper. Did I say that right? Am I smart? You guys trust me, right? I'm an authority on this. Thanks, guys. Doing on one of Casetify's products. After seeing this, we decided to investigate a little further. Check out this R0807. If you've been around long enough, you'll know that this is a reference to Dbrand's robots. R oh, yeah, the R0807. I know, chat, we know about that. The D brand's robots, it's the fucking thieves over there, dude. BOT. And one more, here near this Lego style ribbon connector, it says CTFY, surrounded by a trio of 11s. 11, 11, 11 isn't just the day Skyrim came out, it's also the day that D brand started their business. Now, why would Case Whoa. Defy include the day that D brand was founded on the <laughs> Oh products? my god, get Unless, dunked on. You see where I'm going with this? Let's take where? a look at my Galaxy S23 teardown skin. We have the same 11, 11, 11 around the subscribe ribbon. 
and the robot easter egg is also front and center. Would it surprise you to learn that nearly every single Case Defy product on my desk right now has at least one of our teardown skin easter eggs on it? I'm starting to think that Case Defy's inside out product line isn't as authentic as they say it is. Dbrand was first to notice that our easter eggs were showing up in Case Defy products, and we both couldn't figure out why Case Defy would create their own version of teardown and painstakingly recreate the Jerry Rig Everything easter eggs. Unless... Case Defy didn't recreate the Jerry Rig Everything Easter eggs, and the ones that are left are the ones left behind in their rush to ride the teardown train. To put it another way, maybe Case Defy didn't digitally recreate my Glasses Glass and Glass Breaks, or Dbrand's Pyramid, or the 1111 watt hours on this Pixel 7 Pro. The Pixel 7 Pro actually has 19.25 watt hours of battery capacity, but Case Defy wouldn't know that since they. This dude is like nerd dunking on them. It's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> dude, who gives a fuck? All right, bro, I'm, listen, like. I'm learning about this right now. I hear you, okay? But you are, you are, okay, I'm gonna quote my favorite streamer, Pokemon, right now. Your broke boy is showing so fucking hard right now. And chat is already spamming because they know it's coming. Bro, the only reason you don't give a fuck is because you live in the tiniest little bubble. You think life is whatever small amount you do in your day to day. Who gives a fuck? You would give a fuck. You should give a fuck. This is interesting, okay? And now I'm going to give you some time to think about it. All right? I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to give you a lot of time. All right? Take a few. Take a few weeks. Go be somebody. All right? It probably didn't even take apart a phone to get this image. And if you squint really hard, you can literally see a cut and paste of Dbrand's logo no, on No, that's case. it. That's I'm it. That's lawsuit. These Easter eggs are still here because Casetify didn't realize they were transferring over a decade's worth of inside jokes and connections that I have with all of you <laughs> that's as so they stole the teardown designs. Casetify did attempt to remove some of the more obvious Easter eggs, but that kind of makes it worse. This is Home Alone's skill levels of thievery, and if you haven't watched that movie, I highly recommend it. You might be thinking to yourself, "Hey Jerry, why would they Who do hasn't this? seen Home Alone? Isn't it a simple scan the device that you print out and slap on a case? It can't be that difficult." To answer that question, I'm going to open the curtain a little bit and let you see behind the scenes. What you're seeing here is a sped up recording of what it looks like to create a teardown skin for the iPhone 15 Pro. We first scanned the phone in ultra high 2400 DPI resolution, giving us an image up to about 41,000 pixels wide by 30,000 pixels tall, and enough detail to print out on a billboard. Then it takes about 10 hours worth of editing a first draft in Photoshop before producing prototypes, making adjustments, and getting it ready for mass production. Nearly every imperfection gets cleaned up while taking a few creative liberties to spruce up the internals, like undressing the wireless charging pad so its bare copper coils pop better. Not only is it a lot of work, but we put the same level of attention onto every device in the teardown product line. I'm not kidding when I say we put over 10,000 hours I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. Check out these example images, what the device looks like in the initial scan and what it looks like after. Oh, wow. This is actually a lot more impressive than I realized. Like, I, they're not just scanning phones. They're they're making... Oh, man, dude. What is... What is what are they doing over there? There's so much work that actually goes into this. With it. And it looks great. I'm not even going to lie. It looks kind of sick. I like it a lot. It's just as much of a work of art as a realistic representation of the internals. The it looks so much better. The saturation looks great. All They made all the little color bits pop. They even added some. I like it a lot. Original images are just like what you'd see in one of my teardown videos and the polished up image. In oh my God. What is that dog shit? Oh my God. Who, what the fuck is that dog shit? incredible detail with easter eggs added is what you'd get with a teardown skin or on a teardown grid that case. was not that bad it takes a lot of work to make a teardown skin so i think you can see why we are a little upset that a massive company well hold on by... hold on hey asshole hey mr clean i got a random non-sub who doesn't give a fuck so maybe delete the video and kill yourself <laughs> all right we got some bozo who just rolled in from just chatting who said z z z i don't know maybe kill yourself <laughs> their own CEO's admission is worth close to a billion dollars, might have just swooped in and copied- As if it couldn't matter even more. Their company that, that stole this is worth a billion dollars? Bro, you're cooked. It's over. Oh my God, you're cooked. 10,000 hours worth of work. But there's more. In order for us to confirm our suspicions, Dbrand conducted an experiment. I'm gonna show you a video, and on the right is our artistically perfected teardown skin for MacBooks, and on the left is Casetify's Inside Out case for MacBooks. Now watch as we take the entire chunk of the MacBook teardown and move it over to Casetify's product. You might be surprised to notice how perfectly they match up. Or, considering everything you've seen up to this point, maybe you aren't surprised anymore. We're gonna flip between Casetify's image and the one we just made with our teardown skin. We did this for every single one of Casetify's Inside Out products, and sure enough, every single one failed our plagiarism test. Wait, hold on. It's literally just low res. That's crazy, 
dude! Literally all of these Casetify designs you're looking at, from Pixel to Samsung, weren't made by Casetify independently taking apart devices and digitally reconstructing their internals. They were made from oh our teardown design. God. And to add insult to injury, if you look at Casetify's website and check out their, I mean, my Galaxy Z Fold 4 case, it looks just like a normal ripoff. But if we zoom in, we notice a random extra camera lens at the top of the picture, a portion of a fourth circle. Turns out it's not just a random camera lens, it's literally the camera from our teardown product image on our product page. So not only did Casetify steal our teardown products, but we also think they didn't have the decency to buy them first and scan the real thing. It appears as if they went to our teardown product page, right click the image, saved it, and used it for their own. Bro, they are, dude, they're the sticky bandits. They literally are getting sticky gloves and putting it into the, the, the charity buckets, bro. That, that's like, that is, man. It's, it, you always sit here and you go, I could get away with a bank heist. And you probably could, because you're probably smart enough, which is why you don't rob banks. It's the stupid criminals, right? Because they're dumb enough to commit the crime. It's so dumb. Profit. And to be fair, this isn't the first time someone has tried to rip off our teardown skin, but Casetify is not a mom and pop shop. They are a global brand with a nearly $1 billion valuation, with a B. Considering their size and cash flow, I don't see why they couldn't this just buy so, a few phones. This is so, bro. Take it. We be praying for days like this, though. I'm not gonna lie. We're at, we're praying for days like this. I, please, please let a big company steal my art. Please, man. This is, we eating after this. This is 2.5 million views in one day lawsuit oh boy i'm please i just want i like what was it? i was watching a tiktok and this guy got like it's like millions from some fucking lawsuit for just something stupid that happened to him i'm like please just hit me with your car oh my god Please. Depart and do the work themselves. And honestly, if they had, I would love it. Competition is a marvelous thing. I know how much work goes into creating a teardown product, and if someone wants to create decent competition, I'm all for it. But hopefully, you can see with everything that I've shown you Filthy, that their competition said. isn't the route that Casetify decided to take. So when we had this all figured out, Dbrand and I just had one last question: What do we do about it? I'm not normally Fire a legal bomb. action kind of guy, oh, but no, I also okay. don't get Sorry. ripped off by billion-dollar corporations every day. I could call them out on social media, of course, or Dbrand. Could ooh, ooh! So this guy, if you don't know, his whole thing is he will he will like get a new phone that just comes out, and he will take it apart and do like stress tests, durability tests. He'll go through the components. Here's what we could do: you should dissect the CEO of Casetify. So we'll do a whole video of you like slowly taking him apart and seeing how durable he is. That's gotta be fair. That's got. I mean, right? Let's give him the Ben test. Oh, God, please. Oh, my God. Tweets Meat Canyon tweets. video. Yo, 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 yo. Let me be the voice. Let me be the voice. But at the end of the day, in this David and Goliath situation, Goliath doesn't have the obligation to remove my products from their website just because I made a video calling them out on That's it. why so if, instead, anyone's, if anyone's wondering who cares, this is why we care, right? Because if he didn't say anything, a billion dollar company is st is stealing from a YouTuber collab with a uh, uh, phone case skin. Like, that's why who cares? Because I'll tell you right now, you will start to care if it's your shit getting stolen. If you make anything in this world that uh, uh, has beauty to it, if you make anything in this world that has value and someone steals it, that's the quickest way to care, right? I cares. I cares because I don't want my shit stolen, so I'm going to support... The, 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 this guy, right? I cares. Goliath doesn't have the obligation to remove my products from their website just because I made a video calling them out on it. So instead, we're giving them something they can't ignore. A lawsuit. If you're watching <laughs> Bro, this on the day, I add value to life. Casetify is, we've officially filed a federal lawsuit against Casetify for copyright infringement as of yesterday morning. Oh, Uncle Sam done. has indeed been notified. The legal system isn't exactly known for its speed and efficiency, especially when dealing with an international company overseas, but when I do have any updates or any new information, I'll be sure to let you know. But it's probably going to take a while. This isn't about the money. Theft is just not cool, and I think the biggest way we can teach Casetify a lesson is with a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Getting hit in the wallet is what hurts these giant corporations the most. There is a real possibility that no one wins here. I think they stole something, and I think they they know they stole something, but the wheels of justice turn extremely slowly. And if by chance we do win, you won't find me in a new Ferrari or a private jet. Is it Korea? Was it? Is it? Was it a Korean-based company? I was trying to look at the language that was under the tweet. Was it Korean or China? It was Hong Kong. Oh, good luck. Hey, well, it was fun. It was fun. See, here's the here's the beauty, right? You're you're listen. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna look at it, and I almost just made a racist noise. I'm not going to. They're gonna go ha ha, and they're gonna laugh in American sounding English because I don't want to do any accents. They're gonna look at the lawsuit. They're gonna go ha ha, and they're gonna put it into a shredder, right? <laughs> and why is everyone effing live band? What do you mean band live? Oh, oh, hello. Am I back? You guys got me. China got him. Big Winnie the Pooh got me. Um, 
But you know what you can do and, and why this video is important. I don't think the lawsuit's important. I think maybe just for, for optics, the, the lawsuit is good, sure. And who knows, maybe it'll be cool. But here's why this is important. This video is going out to millions of people. The story is probably going to be seen by even more millions of people over, uh, you know, the next few weeks or month. Uh, Case Defy, is that their name? Their sales are going to be hurt. I, I, I can tell you right now, I never knew about this company, but now there is a 100% chance I will never buy from them ever, ever. And I'm sure chat will probably never buy from them ever again. And I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of want a phone case like this now. Kind of like it. And I'm going to go to dbrand for it. Like, that's the real W here. Is is this going to look at their Twitter? I'll look at it after this video. That's really what's going to happen, I think. I'll turn Case Defy's thievery into furnishing my wheelchair manufacturing facility with laser cutter, CNC mandrel benders, and... Bro, making wheelchairs? The, that, this feels AI generated where we just jumped here. I'm going to sue China so I can build, build wheelchairs in my... Uh, what? What is happening? What? Where did this come from? Good for him. His wife is in one? What? Since his wife is handicapped? Good for him. Or wait. Good for her. Or congrats? What do you say? That's all. His wife is paralyzed, so he has... It. Bro. Okay, can I just say, all jokes aside, that has got to be this, like... That is one of those things that fills my heart with such fucking absolute joy. It's like whenever you hear like uh, uh, and a, uh, uh, there's a couple and like oh, this is gonna open here. I'm sorry. There's a couple and one of them goes deaf. So so the partner learns sign language. This dude took that to another level. He went, oh, you can't walk. That's fine. I'm just gonna build a wheelchair manufacturing site. It's fine. Whatever. Don't worry about it. I'm not that good of a husband. Oh, I'm out, bro. Oh, Fitz, bro, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I'm out, dude. See ya! No, I'm kidding. That's funny, though. Uh, he made an elevator in his home. That's badass. That's actually badass. I'll turn Case Defy's thievery into furnishing my wheelchair manufacturing facility. And it should... No, 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 dude. Ah, uh, okay. He's playing. Hold on, hold on. We know what's really I going on here. Oh, yeah, jet. she she went paralyzed, bro. Sure she did. We know what's going on here. You wanted to build a second office that shares a parking lot with Carl's Jr. Listen, I know the... I, hey, game recognizes game, brother. I see you. I see you. Hey, babe. No, no, no. I'm working, I'm working on this new chair. I'm working on this new chair. I'm going to be in the office all day. Okay, you know you want chicken stars. We, I'm there. Now he has a second toilet. What does that mean? Defies thievery into furnishing my wheelchair manufacturing facility with laser cutter, CNC, been there. and just give away wheelchairs for free as long as I can. For the past three years, I've thrown every extra penny I have at my wheelchair manufacturing oh, business, actually... and if we win anything, I'll continue to do just that. I don't know that's what Ebrand's so gonna do wholesome. with their cut, what obviously. The Maybe buy a hot air balloon with my face on it, or build a life-size pyramid in their parking lot. Something strange, probably. But for me, it's not about the money; it's about the message. Don't right-click my stuff. Lawsuits aren't cheap, though, and normally I would say if you want to help us thwart thievery, you could just buy a teardown skin. But I imagine most of you watching this probably already have one. So Dbrand and I created something a little special instead. An all-new x-ray skin. It's a state-of-the-art method of getting the- This fucking asshole is so smart. No way he tied this in to a product launch. You fucker. You are so smart. The incredible real details of the insides on the outsides. You can think of it as Teardown's monochromatic cousin. Check out the pen detail on the USB-C charging port. I'm screaming. I'm screaming. I really, you know, be really based though, and like actually the funniest fucking thing ever. If Case of Fight announces their new X-ray line. <laughs> okay, that, I, I'd actually start siding with them at that point. Or the leads on the speaker inside the iPad Pro. Or even better yet, the turbo fans and vapor chamber on the MacBook. Unlike this Teardown, cool. where we physically disassemble a device and run it through a high DPI scanner, this time around we take the device to a metrology lab, where we use a one-of-a-kind X-ray machine that's normally used to scan minuscule parts in the assembly of spacecraft. Literal rocket science. And you can't get a more in-depth look than that. If you want a behind-the-scenes look of how that x-ray machine works, let me know if that's a kind of video you want to see. And I haven't even shown you the best part yet. Light mode. And you don't even have to pick. For a limited time, buy either shade of the x-ray skins and we'll- I'm over this fucking guy. I'm over this guy. All right, let's go buy a couple. <laughs> let's go buy a couple, all right? Let's. You know what I'll do right now? I'm going to do you guys one better. Let's give away two. I'm going to give away two. I'm going to do one of the new Samsung, one new iPhone, all right? Let's do a poll for it right now, all right? I'll do, or I'm not a poll. Uh, Wubby Sevens in chat. Let's do, fuck it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? I just heard my door open. Um, we'll do it. We'll do uh, uh, Wubby Sevens. We'll give away. So you get both. You get you get black and white. We'll do one iPhone of the newest iPhone and one of the newest Samsung. Wh whatever he offers. We'll do one of each. 
uh, because you know what? This was an interesting video, and I like the cause, and I think it's cool. And also, um, chat, there you go. You get something out of watching. All right, uh, keyword Wubby7. Subscribers get 10x luck, but you don't have to be a sub. Just tell us which one you have. I'm going to do two. So if you have an iPhone, let us know you have an iPhone. We'll get you the iPhone. If you have a Samsung phone, let us know which one, and we'll get you that, okay? And I prefer to just be able to ship it directly to you so it doesn't have to come here first. Um... But yeah, what an interesting video. Uh, let me, let, I'm going to let him finish it out, but Wubby 7's in chat right now. Give you the other for free. Except for you, Case Defy. Not that you ever bought anything in the first place. They'll probably just right-click and save again. If you want to support the channel and our fight oh, against bad. an unpredictable behemoth or just want the coolest looking device on the planet, I'll leave a link for these x-ray skins down in the video description. I'm sorry, but I can't get over that his wife is paralyzed and he made a wheelchair shop for it. That is like... That is, ladies and gentlemen, love is real and love exists. And it makes me, I know I make jokes about it, but I'm so sappy that actually makes me want to cry. That is the fucking sweetest thing in the whole world. And I'm going to kill myself. It makes me so happy. And I, I love this guy. I've wa I used to watch his videos all the time. I don't see him as often anymore, but like, is that an Xbox? He has a switch. <gasps> oh my God. I want, oh, these are so sick. All right. Um, let's do it. Let's run it. All right. Um, case five released an X-ray line, but they stole it from a We'll get to that. All right, congratulations. Please message Booty Swagga on Discord with which phone you have with your shipping information. And the winner is Holeman88, W-H-O-L-E, Man88. Please message Holeman, or I mean, please message Booty Swagga on Twitch or on Discord or both. Um, and for the second winner, congratulations to Tall and Gimpy. <laughs> Congrats, bro. There you go, I'll give two away. I don't know. It's not big or anything. I'm no fun. Listen, I'm not, I don't have no wheelchair factory, okay, for my paralyzed wife, but at least you got something out of it. Uh, you read my name wrong? Shut up, dude. Just keep rolling till I win. Okay, Ash. Ash, I'm going to sit here right now, and I'm going to roll again. This person doesn't win, but I'm going to see how many times it takes me to get to you. Nope. 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 This guy's name is Nuclear Down Syndrome Disaster. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, we got someone in San Diego. That's pretty big. Nope, 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 you got the next one, Ash? All right, hold on, let's do this right here. Hold on, let's do this real quick. I'm gonna do this real quick. All right, I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay. So, okay. So I've hit, I've hit run a lot of people. Ash, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm just gonna hit roll it. If it comes up with your name, this next one comes up with your name, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Ready? Three, two, one. Nope. Alright, you know, I'm not gonna play Fortnite. Fuck you. I gotta go. I gotta go to Home Depot. And you know what? I appreciate you guys even being here the day after Thanksgiving. I, uh, I do. I really do. I'll be honest, wasn't gonna stream today. Kinda wanted to just take the day, day after the holiday, enjoy my time, see my friends, do some shopping. And I honestly thought a lot of you would want to too, but thousands of you showed up anyway. So, um, I appreciate that. And, uh, Sunday will be the, uh, 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 talent show. Very excited for it. I hope to see you guys there. Monday will be Magic Monday. Oh, there is the response. Let's check it real quick. Can we ship to the PO box? Yes, we are doing. Yes, I, I'll give you more announcements on that later. But yes, you can ship to the PO box at any time, uh, and it'll just go into a pile in my ass. This is their Twitter for a response. I do want to check this. Okay, here's their response. Oh, they got it. They got a. Um, they got a, a note, a Twitter note. That's not good. Caseify has always been a bastion of originality, and we hold pride in that. Okay, irrelevant. Let's see what else they have to say, though. 
We are currently investigating a copyright allegation against us. We have immediately removed all the designs in question from all platforms. Bro, this is a cap and dog situation. We are also investigating a DDoS attack. <laughs> uh oh. China, get a little taste. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Sorry, that was fucked up. Uh, all systems are back to normal. All customer information is safe. Thanks again, or thanks for your patience and support during this challenging time. What a fucking useless dog shit response. How about you say this? How about you say this? How about you go, yeah, that video is fucking crazy. Uh, we took that shit down, and we're going to get to the bottom of who approved that because they're getting fired. Sorry again. This is fucked up, and here's charity. I'm going to donate $50,000 to your wife's wheelchair. Poggers, and then hit him with like a phase up. I would love peak. I would love a response like that. I would be like, "All right, I might buy a case. I might buy a case from them now." Shit. Okay. Uh, and the readers added context. This is gonna be good. Uh, case Fi used the official product photos from T Friends Teardown Skin. Dude, this is not. I don't like that they're calling it copyright allegations, brother. Brother, they're not allegations unless you have evidence that they fabricated those allegations. That's an admission of guilt. Dbrand probably wants back pay for units sold. Oh, you're right. Dude, you're so right. This is total legal jargon. This is like, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't know shit about fuck. Yeah, it's all, you're so right. That is why they're doing this. It's the cover there. They're smoked asses, bro. Is Wubby 36? Bro, why are you not listening to the content and just speculating on my age? What's wrong with you? Okay. Have a nice night, everybody. Um... I appreciate you guys uh, uh, being cool during the holiday week, and I'll see you Sunday for some actually good content for once. Uh, Magic Monday. Go watch the new Magic Monday Wubby Magic Monday channel if you want some more Wubby uh, uh, in the background tonight to hold you over. I hope you guys had a great holiday. Hope you had a great Black Friday. I hope you're doing something fun tomorrow. And uh, is Wubby 36? Let me vote in that poll real quick. And I will see you guys Sunday for the talent show. Go submit to the talent show if you haven't already. Good night. Thank you guys for all the subs. Love you. Be safe. Love you. Love you. Stay back. Love you. Love you. I was getting tattooed the other day, and this guy...